help herself. And we're back again with another episode of the Grappling Dash podcast. <laughs> and today we have a very special guest and co-guest, I suppose you could say. Not so we special co-guest. We have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's obvious. Yeah. <laughs> we have Morgan Henley. Oh, you hyphenate it now? How's that go? No, just Morgan Henley. Morgan Henley. <laughs> it's still the same me. All right. And <laughs> same me. Eric Stoffer. Yep, non hyphenated. Not non hyphenated. <laughs> <laughs> right. He got my own name. Stoffer. He didn't take her <laughs> name. No. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. So sexist. Right. Yeah. <laughs> FYI, I'm Kip. Nobody cares I'm, about I'm you. also on yeah. the show. I know. That's why I'm back to validate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why is Morgan on the show? Morgan's on the show because uh, Eric said that we're going to come on your show. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the show. coming back. Is that, is that how we're, is that how we're booking guests now? <laughs> yeah. We have no options. Eric, Eric sent me an email. He's like, dude, we're coming on your show. We have stories to tell. I'm like, do Not it. Not really. It was, uh, do it. it was really that we easy. We did stuff, yeah. and it was cool. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet story. We, we did an epic trip to California. Yeah. Went to the Grayson Nationals. We have stories. You will have us on. End quote. <laughs> right. Yeah, and cool. maybe not so many words, but yeah, those exact words. Yeah, do what he said. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> not those exact words, but yeah, those, those exact, exact words. words. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, you, you know, I gotta act as like kind of like your manager. I gotta book you shows <laughs> after all your big wins. So. Well, the pro- the problem with Morgan is she's too humble. No, no, too, no, no, no. She no. won't. She won't. No, sell she's herself. not humble. She Shut fucking up. hates herself. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are turds. Humble is an the understatement. <laughs> let me let, let me just go to every tournament ever and destroy everybody. Be like, no, no I suck at this. Not like I'm that. not even good. So not, I've been destroyed many times. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, but yet. when you got destroyed, did they puke and have little kids walk through it? Because <laughs> if they didn't, they are totally yeah, you know, magical losing powers you. on that one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Lucky me. When you get destroyed, at least you have an epic story to follow up with. I right. mean, yeah. come on. Vomit on the ground. <laughs> hey guys, that's the one she won. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbasses. Oh. Well, Can you just imagine when she loses? <laughs> Her Hulk head. smash. <laughs> <laughs> no. She I goes to the podium and flips it. <laughs> Fuck you. I ride my magical pony home mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. It's really just the broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, it's so bad. So oh. I got, usually I start off the show with um, first question. And I have it. And the first question comes from none other than Croyler Grayson. Oh, yeah, he has oh, a question he for you. Question. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. he did. I was going to save it for you later. You can't have your soul back. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to save it, but I'm like, no, I'm going to fast get out of the way. Fast forward and get this out of the way. I'm <laughs> so so I, I texted Craig. I'm like, hey, do you need me to ask Morgan anything on the show? <laughs> she said, yes. She said, yes. Ask Morgan, no. when did she realize no one was going to stop her? Oh, when God. I, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's more. There's more. God. When I told her, pre-fight, or after she dominated, post-fight. Go ahead and answer that question. Yeah. Miss uh, Humble. Intriguing. I don't mean to I don't mean to put you on the spot, but there's your spot. But I did. I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't ever assume I'm gonna win. I don't I don't go there for that purpose, I guess. Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Interview of the year. <laughs> I don't compete to win. I compete to lose. I like to make other women feel better. I want to be themselves. so respectful of my competitors that I never feel I'm going to do well. <laughs> I want to encourage them to keep trying. <laughs> oh, you beat me! And I'm I can do it. <laughs> I know I choked you unconscious, but next time. Next time. They haven't <laughs> always been that good, though. I've had bad ones. I've had really bad ones. Like, Not lately. I was, that wasn't a bad one. Yeah, look, look, yeah. You pretty much destroyed those women. Yeah, well, I'm sure there'll be my heyday. It's just... I don't know. This it's, is it's, so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting as nervous as Paul. This is awesome. Because I don't want to be mean. The, the girls I go against are so tough girls. It's just... there's In jiu-jitsu, there's different caliber of people. There's people that train like I do that every day, four to five hours a day, if not more. And there's people that train just a few times a week. The difference is astronomical when it comes to competing. So to say that they weren't training or tough opponents, it's not fair to say because they gave it their all just like I did. 
I just have a really fat ass. And I don't <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Man, that's the best part. Is I listened to the last interview and she'll be awesome, beautifully talking about a great point, and then close it with, "And I'm stupid." <laughs> what? Well, I mean, you drop the booty, it works really well, especially for Mount. <laughs> it does do. actually. I can't get. You. You're stuck there, so it sucks. Yeah, fucker fish. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be illegal. So, yeah. what what uh, what made you want to go to California for the Gracie Nationals? Oh, well, I didn't even necessarily want to. <laughs> <laughs> I got an invitation from Rose Curler's cousin, and she. Uh, I didn't really think anything of it. I wrote to Corolla jokingly, like, hi, I'm, I got an invitation to Gracie Nationals. Isn't that hilarious? Like, I got my first invite. And then next text I get is, like, you can stay at my mom's house. I got your tournament with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I guess I'm going to go to Gracie Nationals. Yeah. You're so, like, isn't this a funny joke? Oh, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was nice to try and go against girls I haven't competed against. And that's what I was hoping for is just a different – arrangement of fighters because they've never met me i've never met them and it's a little bit different when you're from little michigan and there's like four <laughs> purple balls in the entire state All right so mm-hmm. it's, yeah uh, you kind of went to the mecca of jiu-jitsu in california didn't you yeah there was a whole bunch of big faces there big faces <laughs> uh, like huge faces that we just kind of look like idiots. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you want to be my friend? No, okay, I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> I'm gonna stand awkwardly by you forever. Eric's like, stop, oh, stop oh, looking we'll starstruck. To- stop it. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, uh, Morgan, did you just lick up. Eddie Bravo? It's <laughs> fucking weird. I thought about it. <laughs> he is he's a mine be- now. He's a beautiful man. He's very pretty. Very man pretty. That's, That's how Morgan was. marks her people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking all his homies. He just walks up, licks his face. <laughs> like, what the hell? What's yeah. Up? You good people. <laughs> <laughs> just feels his tongue. Feels your tongue know. in his ear all of a sudden. <laughs> it's normal. Just like, don't happens. worry about it. He's like, no, no, it happens all the time. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> he probably wouldn't mind it. He was pretty stoic the whole time. He's yeah. like, yeah, this happens. I mean, people put their tongues on me. There's no people put their tongues on me. <laughs> I'm Eddie Bravo's sorry. statement People put their tongues on me He, he did not quote that That is not a direct quote Ryan please don't find me <laughs> He can make our lives terrible Oh my gosh So you, so you got an invite from Rose Gracie Yes Nice Well it was I think they gave out invites to anyone that went to the crazy regionals, so it wasn't like a personal like, hey, Morgan, I like really want friend. you to come to my... <laughs> I've heard of it you. It was like a broad, like, hey, anyone that's done this, please come out. Gotcha. And there were supposed to be more ladies, but with the big uh, winter vortex in the East Coast, a lot of girls couldn't make it, which was unfortunate. Oh, that's some bullshit. It is what it is. It was one of the bigger tournaments I've ever done. And nice. I, got, I got more to come, hopefully. Sweet. We'll Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Were you nervous before you went, or you not really? Uh, now with competitions, not so much. I mean, I still shit my brains out before <laughs> <laughs> five or six times easily. I don't want to puke anymore. I don't. I don't know. I just don't think of it. Win or lose, it's not. I don't know. Eventually, you stop worrying about everything that's around you, and you're just concentrated on the moment, which is essentially why I like to do it, because then it really finds your holes in your games, in your games, because there's multiple going on. <laughs> I was going to say, are there multiple? <laughs> in my mind, yes. No, no wonder she's beating my ass. She's <laughs> playing multiple games. <laughs> Bane chess is like three people. <laughs> Well, if you're losing chest to my daughter, so there's that. <laughs> Fuck. That doesn't surprise me. It's true. Those girls are little geniuses. They're pretty tough, too. They're terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm in for a world to hurt later. <laughs> Did you just do the gi competition or no gi? I just no or, I'm gi. I'm sorry, just no gi. Yeah, because they didn't have gi and not enough people signed up. Uh, out there, there's a lot of 10th Planet people, so I'm just guessing more predominant no gi out there than around here. Yeah. Gotcha. But... For me, whatever. I'll just I'll take whatever fight I can get. <laughs> All right, just fight me. I'll do whatever. <laughs> Anyone, you look yeah. at me weird. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Eddie Brown was like, I'm not fighting you. <laughs> you just licked me. I'm not fighting you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will take a picture with you. <laughs> oh. So who all did you meet out there? Well, geez. So many famous people. 
a lot of people's names I can't pronounce. <laughs> I'm a terrible oh, well. human. I'm American. Okay, <laughs> I do not know how to speak Portuguese at all. Portuguese. Port. Yeah, exactly. Port- Port- yeah, can't, you can't even say, even say the language correct. Portuguese. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the biggest one was Hunter Gracie. Hunter, yeah. We went to Gracie University. Nice. Holy balls. <laughs> that, that, that was pretty cool because we actually went up there with uh, Coiler's mom, who. By the way, he's like one of the most fantastic people I think I've ever met in my life. Yeah. She's incredible. What happened to Coiler? Um, we have no idea. <laughs> I, know. I, know, I know what happened to him. Oh. <laughs> she, she dropped him, didn't she? <laughs> More than what. <laughs> oh, and, oh, that's why they put the hat on him. Cover that bump up. Oh, Coiler, we saw way more pictures than oh, that yeah. one. We, <laughs> she broke out the baby photos. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's awesome. I saw so many pictures. I love your mother. <laughs> Like when we got in there, she, uh, you know, we walk into the front doors and uh, right away, like the place is like 10 times bigger than our gym and like much nicer than my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, she's showing us around. They're showing us, um, you know, the bathrooms, the changing rooms. They even have like, their own little viewing staging area, like it's behind glass that you really? can watch. Yeah. It's beautiful. They have wow. like, uh, it's almost like bleacher style seating, but it's not like, <laughs> you know, like, like you're in a stadium watching <laughs> something. And, um, we go around the corner and we're looking at the mat and uh, there's a certain way you have to get on the mat. You can't just run out there and, and look like a jackass. I tried. So, <laughs> right. yeah, I so. found it out the hard way. I thought they beat the shit out of me. Yeah, they actually got a shepherd's crook and like grabbed her and <laughs> yanked her off the mat. I know. <laughs> so, and so they're telling us like how to get on the mat and whatnot and all of a sudden we hear someone be, or we see someone sitting on the mat and it's heater on and we're like, oh, hey, look, there's some the back of someone's, you know, someone's back there. <laughs> the, we're trying to get his, you know, Trying to get his attention. Trying to get his attention, but <coughs> not get his attention. <coughs> <laughs> right. Banging out the glass. I went out and threw a rock at him. <laughs> but uh, it's awesome we hear, hey, how's it going behind us? And we turn around, and there's Henner just really? standing behind us. And, uh, you know, he shakes our hand. And I think if you could have taken a picture of us at that moment, we were so starstruck. They get to pick Morgan's jaw up off the floor. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Just jaws hanging on the ground. Like, I, know I know somebody that knows you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, related to somebody I know. <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, we couldn't stop staring at him, so I didn't really hear the words he was saying. But uh, I remember him. Portuguese. <laughs> oh, right, right. And uh, he asked how long we've been training. I think Morgan said about three years. And he looked at me and said, about a year and a half. And he goes, oh, you guys want to come to my mastery class tonight? Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Since interested. you're asking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess. I don't think I like, could gain anything yeah. from yeah. it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you, sir? I don't. <laughs> if I can't find something right. better to do by that time, <laughs> I'll be here. Uh, I pooped a little bit when he asked. <laughs> 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 yeah. That ain't me. <laughs> like, he even knows who I am. So I think we spent the rest of the day waiting to go to class. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting. At the I, got, I got a good bus time before I went, though. <laughs> yeah. You know, got to oh. get ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the gym was like 70 degrees and we're used to freezing cold gym. So I'm just like I boring. Just <laughs> uh, and then I have my hair dyed. So I it's know. like red hair dye everywhere. <laughs> you, oh, it's terrible. You could see everybody she rolled with because they're oh. red. Like their geese were pink. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to still be your friend. <laughs> Great first impression, oh, Morgan. It was, like, it was oh. so embarrassing. <laughs> you're, like, you're on a listen where don't invite her back. <laughs> It's like a rolling with a paintbrush. <laughs> That's what it was. And of course, it has to be white geese. Or <laughs> yeah. super white geese. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. yeah. They got a white, white, rule. white geese. Mm-hmm. Oh, I couldn't train there. I don't have any white geese. Yep. Yeah. Fail. I think That's the door. Like <laughs> they <laughs> invite you there. Like fail. Okay, but how much is one of your geese? Because <laughs> if I can't afford that, I can't afford your class. <laughs> they had so many people there. Well, the, their, the cars in the parking lot alone were more expensive than <laughs> what I'll make in my entire yeah, life. I, <laughs> I was yeah. like, is that a porch? They're like, oh, yeah, it's just normal. I'm like, there's like 20 of them here. <laughs> <I know. laughs> how many and norms only, do you what? have? <laughs> and only two of the guys got out. It's weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're gold plated? What? <laughs> 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 they didn't understand why we were so excited over the cars i'm like because we got like ford escort <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't see this you know where Mustang is like crazy <laughs> do you know where michigan is on a map sir <laughs> i busted out the map, yeah, so out the map. Yeah. Yeah. where are you from well let me show you i got this handy little map i bring with me everywhere 
And then you just it's, point and they still have no idea what you're doing. It's my right hand. And they're like, that's great. Are you special? I was going to say, you got that look a few times. Like, it's right here. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And they just walked off. <laughs> so. the mi- oh, the mitten. You don't get yeah. the reference. Yeah. <laughs> right. Damn it. You don't look at maps. <laughs> I have GPS. Why would I look at a map? <laughs> exactly. We, we might have built your car, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a chance that I built your headliner. Oh, oh, you drive a car. Ferrari. We didn't build that. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of those. Oh, it's yeah. It's ridiculous out there. Oh, oh. It's just a different world. The Between being re- super rich and super poor, they're all so close to each mm, other. It's yeah. crazy. There's, like, There's homeless n- here while this, like, insanely rich guy <laughs> walks by. You're like, what the? I don't get it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so There's no middle class there. How does that no. happen? You know, on top of that, everybody is just beautiful <laughs> like it was just, I went like, from like a maybe an eight possibly in Michigan to like a negative five there. It's just like, it's like, I hate yoga pants now everywhere we go it's just beautiful ass <laughs> I hate it I was gonna say we walked into that expo and looked like a swamp troll <laughs> <laughs> hey ladies how are you doing are, are you enjoying my dad bod people are staring at you but for all the wrong reasons like what the fuck are they right. doing here right it's like who let them in <laughs> You know this is the fit S. Yeah. Oh, oh no! I was like, ah, sweeties, the homeless shelter is that way. Yeah. Damn it! I like, like the a t- little jiggle with my wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. They had a what, dodgeball there too. It was hilarious. Dodgeball I loved championships. It. <laughs> oh yeah, this that's be my side yes. job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I found my new sport. I was gonna say we're doing the I'm wrong thing. I'm going pro in dodgeball. <laughs> it was extreme. I loved it. I loved every moment of it. One guy, one guy got pegged in the throat. That was my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> got, let, me, let me clarify. They had dodgeball at the Gracie Academy. No, at the Fit Expo. Yeah, no, the it's fit, a the new fit. thing. <laughs> it really helps with combatives. Yeah, it's just, it's <laughs> you can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> Duck and weave, people. It really, it's <laughs> very effective. <laughs> it's like if someone tries to rob you with a dodgeball, you know how to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> it it's all about the self defense. It's real people. life. Look up the statistics. All right, bro. <laughs> right, it happens. They will take your lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really hungry. <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't hear about the Fit Expo thing. Was that part of the Gracie Nationals? Yeah, that's where it was being held. Is uh-huh. at the okay. LA Convention Center? Yep, it's huge. We never left our one little area because we're weirdos. <laughs> no, because that place is bigger than my hometown. <laughs> Well, it's just well, it's just the little area we're in. There's so much crazy little events. There's weightlifting, and man, the crowd would just like scream with this guy lifting weights and be like, "Yeah!" <laughs> I, loved it. I was like, "I don't know why this is so intense." <laughs> I love it. He picked something up. Yeah. I, then he slammed it down. You're so hard. Or, so intense. Well, <laughs> you have to slam it down to prove how right. much weight it is, bro. Don't oh, you know uh, things? And then they right. chest bump like crazy. I know. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> the reenactment made that. We really need a camera here. I, I, no, oh my God, no, that'd be the worst thing ever. A First camera on talking. Camera. Am I retarded talking? I mean, not retard. No. <laughs> Scratch that. Uh, was politically correct on this show, Morgan. <laughs> oh my God! You, you know, just redact that offended. real quick. That'd be great. I already offended like twenty. Jesus, bro, could you please watch your damn mouth? <laughs> uh, just fucking mouth. Get it straight. <laughs> just to let you know. I'm the one to offend everyone. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know, You're a I'm misogynistic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't believe that. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> oh no, I was called out. I was called out for that. So I'm sorry. He's, I'm sorry. I have Morgan on here. He's a turd bucket. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm apologizing to every feminist out there because <laughs> we don't know how to take jokes. Apparently, <laughs> I'm not going to do you any favors. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 there it is. Jesus. It's a space so, so, <laughs> <laughs> as you were watching the bodybuilders, were you thinking, <clears throat> I could choke all these motherfuckers out? So easy. Uh, to a certain extent. Stop you, lying. Well, you said it out loud and bold. <laughs> <laughs> I said it at my gym. <laughs> at my gym. Because <laughs> there's a lot of You looked at every single gym. one of them, like, they're a bunch of pussies. I'm like, them all <laughs> no. out. Oh, Look, that's. <laughs> Eric, do not put words in my mouth. I have bodybuilders <laughs> beat the shit out of me. And, <laughs> they and just and hold me down. <laughs> and like really like struggle. <laughs> Snuggle me. 
No, don't worry, everyone. We'll give you her address at the end of the show. You, n- you <laughs> never know. She's really easy to find. I'm no tougher than anyone else. You never know. Just hold up your hand and point to the left side of your hand, and that's where she lives. <laughs> you, have <a> <laughs> you have a built-in map on your wrists. <laughs> they, they're already confused. They don't care, <laughs> they, they, yeah, I don't care anymore. I don't, what, how do I make that shape? I don't get it. What's a mitten? <laughs> <laughs> Do they live in a mitten? Is it like the old lady that lived in a shoe? Is this, like, is this a metaphor? Guys, is the whole state special? <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty much. Kind of. At least That's four of why us I'm bit. here. <laughs> Morgan I'm tried moving. I'm they the sent her back. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Hmm. So you uh, so you got to watch uh, people lift heavy shit. <laughs> 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 Is there any other fun shit that happened at the uh, Fit Expo besides beautiful women and dudes <coughs> lifting heavy shit and I grunting? Mean, the booties are really hard to ignore. <laughs> they were <laughs> rampant. Like it was a like an outbreak. <laughs> it was just voluptuous <laughs> booties. It was just like a sea of ass. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> they had that little what that acrobatic little weightlifting crazy yeah, thing yeah, they were yeah, okay. doing. I don't even know what they call it. Yeah, fancy so, dancing. <laughs> so, fancy fancy dancing. dancing. Yeah, so above each of the areas, they had um, big banners, you know, for what they were. See, that one for Greasy Nationals, one for Extreme Dude Weightlifting. I, I punched <laughs> your mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I got so amped. Um, yeah. But, but uh, and they had one for Dodgeball. And the one she's talking about, it said Battle of the Bars on it. That's what it was called. So I thought, oh, hey, we can go get a drink, not thinking we're at a fitness expo. <laughs> <laughs> because get wasted. No. And then I, then I go over there, and there's more beautiful people doing insane acrobatic things that Morgan said she could choke out. Lies. And, and, uh, Lies. And so, all I so instead of getting a drink, I just stood over there and felt bad. <laughs> I'll never be that fit. <laughs> what do you eat? Nothing. Air, <laughs> my lord. Yeah, they were they were buff. They would like balance on weird angles and do weird things. <laughs> it was very impressive. Yeah. I don't think I could do any of that. But but, but if they can't fight, it doesn't really matter. I was like I mean. parkour. That's what it was. Like parkour. You yeah. do all the crazy little jumpy things. That's what they did. <laughs> so they could run away from you. <laughs> right. Right. Really that, fast. Parkour is only cool if they do it off the rooftops of skyscrapers. Otherwise, it bores me. No, <laughs> I'm gonna go with it's really only cool if they fall off. Oh, <laughs> that's no. pretty much my favorite. I just want to see one like wow. fart. <laughs> you know it happens. They squeeze so tight, hold in that position. <laughs> it went from graceful to disgusting. Oh, awesome! Yes. I want a competition that where that's cool. <laughs> you do fancy bar work and you have to fart. As much as it's a weird sport. I would win. <laughs> Will we, will we still be at that same fitness expo? Hell yeah. Okay. okay. Someone would find a way to bottle it and make it into something <laughs> useful. <laughs> oh my God, that's disgusting. <laughs> you know, it's true though. Oh man. <laughs> no, I would probably buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably, I'd just probably just keep it, it myself. <laughs> the new set. <laughs> you can put it up there with the other knickknacks and get there. Uh, yeah, yes. uh, bottle, uh, bottle toots. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> bottle <laughs> toots. <laughs> <laughs> the entrepreneurship right there. That's We're right, really yeah. And something. Yeah. No one steal my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> They're mine. Five, for, five years from now, like, those my ideas. <laughs> it's on Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a real thing, I'm telling you. It's going to heal cancer. <laughs> Superpowers. It's proven. There you go. <laughs> Or it'll be portable pink eye. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. That's the name, portable pink eye. <laughs> there you go. Do, you, do you have bullies that you just can't elegant. deal with? <laughs> elegant but deadly. <laughs> you just give it to kids who are getting bullied. <laughs> just throw it, at, <laughs> throw it at the bullies. It's a new bully proof system. You, <laughs> you have to deal with it for like three days. <laughs> Did someone try to rob you with a dodgeball? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got just the oh. answer for that. We just found a new martial art. There you go. <laughs> We're Coil- founding it right now. Coiler. Totally get, on, get on that, bro. How do you off to fart in a face? <laughs> <laughs> it seems awkward at first. Yeah. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's a very tough oh. sport. Take the practice and concentration. So, so how much of that other stuff did you have to like be subjected to to watch before you got to compete? Oh, I competed almost right when I got there. Oh, really? Women were the first to go because they were women, you know, were important. <laughs> Don't want to be misogynist, right? <laughs> Wouldn't want to go there. Right. 
Get the ten women that want to compete out of the way. Uh, pretty much. It was, <laughs> Bring in the boys. I was a little disappointed. I was hoping I would go out to Cali and have like a huge group of ladies, and there wasn't. And that's always disappointing because out here, <laughs> especially with me testing for my purple belt soon, it's going to be like maybe I'm lucky if one girl with a purple belt shows up. So that was the only thing I was disappointed about. I wanted to fight like 10, 15 girls. I wanted a battle. <laughs> I wanted it to be epic. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. It was still a lot of fun. I enjoyed my I enjoyed choking people out. It was a good time. Now, you only got to fight in your belt level, right? So you couldn't fight. You just decide, I'm going to do purple and brown and black. And uh, if you got destroyed. Just, there, I think there was only two girls in that upper belt division. I could have probably done it, but... I thought I had to get more ladies competing ah, at gotcha. the blue belt level, which I am still a blue belt, so it's not like I was like going underneath or anything right. trying to scandalize mm-hmm. anybody. Yeah, I'm just going to fight it white. <laughs> be fine. I'm just close <laughs> to testing for my purple, so eh, I I wish I could have done both, to be honest, but mm-hmm. I, it had to be fair to all the ladies, which I understand, so it is what it is. I just gotcha. like to test myself, see what happens. So now you're going to be flying out to like New York and California every other month. <laughs> if someone wants to sponsor me and give me money, <laughs> well, hint, hint, anyone out there. <laughs> well, you are world famous now. Yeah, world famous to myself. Yeah. No, no, we're listening to on uh, almost every continent, all but Antarctica. Ooh, Arctic, ooh. Uh, yeah. All three people will know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be like three people per continent, but hey, it's it's uh, it's almost no. all of them. You're like, shut up, Morgan. We're popular. <laughs> <laughs> people love us. We don't just tape this and not even put it out. You it's just fine to yourself. <laughs> yep. This is just for me. I'm my biggest fan. <laughs> Plays as he goes to sleep. I make my mom listen. <laughs> she gives, she loves me. Number she one gives fan. us reviews. <laughs> she tells me I'm the best son ever. I love your podcast. No, just please stop swearing. <laughs> Oh, that was an actual sentence. Yeah. <laughs> that one I, did come out. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> no, I, I don't even apologize. I don't even apologize for. It. <laughs> My dad said, "Could you swear a little less so I could listen?" I could try. Nope. No. Uh, let me think. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> exactly. I like fuck. Okay, so deal with it. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I just like the word. <laughs> <laughs> Screams in the mic. <laughs> That's the how closer, she fixes mistakes. The, <laughs> the louder I am, no. I, feel, I feel bad for the guys who are going to listen to this. Going, Geez, ow, <laughs> ow. Uh, yeah, oh, it's normally good. They're going to turn it up, turn it back down, turn I it back up. I have a pleasant voice. <laughs> so it'll be wonderful. <laughs> uh, Heal the deaf with your angelic voice. <laughs> Angel of death. So uh, no, that's create the deaf with her angelic voice. Oh, got it. So how the uh, how the uh, Gracie University class go? It Flawless. was so fast. <laughs> it really did. So, like, they don't do warm-ups like we do at our gym. Like, you just line up against the wall, hand one of the higher ranks your attendance card, and they're like, and Henry came out and said, all right, here's what we're doing. You need to do technique for two hours. Two hours? It's a two-hour class. It was a two-hour class. Oh, that's oh. flipping awesome. Wow. An hour and a half? Nice. It was an hour and a half, I have, think. Have I been yeah, lying to people this whole time? Liar. Exaggerator! Oh my god! I think it was an hour and a half. I don't remember. It was so long ago. We'll go two hours. I know. We'll do two hours. Hey, it's only two hours. It's our story. I think the last half an hour we rolled, but you started from the position that he was teaching, which was kind of cool. Okay. Then you had to figure out how to either work with it or let it go, and or try to apply the stuff he just said. It was really fast, so but we were super nervous too. Mm-hmm. So I was just sweating like for well, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, you it's see ridiculous. The, you see the pictures of us with Henner, like that was just me trying not to be a douche, like trying to not be you know so nervous. Fail, <laughs> really has, tired. I know. Can I take a picture with you real quick? I know you've been working all day. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Please just come hug my sweaty. Back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was trying to get some of his powers to transfer to me, but I you took know, him off. I'm not ginger. <laughs> They're I all can't. mine. I stole a soul first. <laughs> I know. It was pretty amazing. I mean, it was only one class, but Grace University concentrates more on combative jiu-jitsu than necessarily competitive jiu-jitsu. I don't mm-hmm. think they're a competitive gym. <clears throat> so almost everything he does, he reminds you how to apply if you were in an actual, like, real fight, which is kind of oh, nice because okay. mm-hmm. it puts it okay. in perspective, cool. like, maybe I'm going to do De La Hiva if you're getting punched in the face. <laughs> like, good thought, you know? But sometimes you get so into competitive jiu-jitsu mode, you don't even think about that kind of stuff. You're like, oh, I'll do Del Hiva. No, you won't, because you'll get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of exposed. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. So it was just, uh, it was kind of a nice, like, eye-opener to the idea of how he applies not only to a competitive jiu-jitsu, but to people that just do it for the sheer self-defense aspect of I gotcha. it. Mm-hmm. So it was really, it was awesome. He 
oh man he would come and like watch you do a move right behind you and i could hear him right behind me watching yeah okay yep move that foot i'm like oh my god he's talking to me and he's watching me and then he goes yep perfect i'm like he said perfect I just crapped a little bit. I, like, just, I should have just walked up and laughed. <laughs> See you. <laughs> We're over with. I said it was perfect. So. I'd be so. thinking, he's patronizing me, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he likes me, damn it. <laughs> See, That's I, what I told myself. <laughs> what what, uh, what did you cover as far as technique? Uh, we did a Dalla Hiva sweep. Yeah. We We're, did variations a, from Dalla Hiva. Some X guard stuff. Did, did he say mm-hmm. what you do yeah. when they start swinging at you from the Dalla Hiva <laughs> sweep? <laughs> he pretty well. He pretty much showed you how if you didn't do certain things, they could hit you. But more than likely, in a real fight, you're not really going to pull Dalla Hiva. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to try to heel hook people. <laughs> I mean, I might. <laughs> Maybe if I knew how to heel hook anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> oh Jesus, that's just what I need in my uh, life. You don't need knees, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I already don't have knees, Morgan. <laughs> we'll tape it together. <laughs> <laughs> they already are taped together. Well, we'll that's just, the we'll problem. Just kill all the feeling that's left. <laughs> right. <laughs> just put some cortisone shots in there. You'll be fine. Yeah, no, back to normal. No time. I thought you convinced you had peg legs. <laughs> the way you talk. <laughs> it's actually pretty damn accurate. It's, it's you ever seen up. him try to throw up a triangle? It's fucking comical. Really? <laughs> Have you ever seen me try to triangle anybody ever? No, no you haven't. I don't think I've seen you cross your legs. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Paul year always you. works open guard for some reason. <laughs> oh, his legs are only straight. He's a smash passer. Don't, don't let him lie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Paul's pretty tough. No. He's like, oh, no. I'm broken. And then he's like smashing me down. I'm like, but this isn't broken. Everything you've heard on this show so far is a lie about Paul. <laughs> he's actually pretty super you. How dare you? <laughs> he's good. He just is like me and won't admit it, right? Uh, nope. I'm terrible. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> You got, no, you guys two are way so straight, huh? How do you like it? Huh? <laughs> no, yeah. we're talking about you now, Morgan. <laughs> you just no. <laughs> this show is not about me. Yeah, this I can change. It. I have two of Paul right now. <clears throat> it's weird. They're just complimenting the self, each other. The self hate. <laughs> you're wonderful. No, you're wonderful. <laughs> got two Pauls. And then there's Kip. <laughs> yeah. we oh fuck! Socks. Nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it all come down to me being shitty? It doesn't doesn't it always? I it think really you're does. an angel. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, no, no. At least you're a nice person. Ooh. You, oh wait, you, you try hard. You're sassy. I like oh. sassy. <laughs> sassy. Sassy. I'm so sassy. Look at your daughters. They're hilarious. They're just like you and your wife. I love them. <laughs> We're so stupid. They're awesome. <laughs> They still awkwardly hug me all the time. I think Addie comes up and goes, like, <laughs> grab, like, my pinky and be like, awkward hug, and then run away. <laughs> that's my girl. Uh, that's Kip's daughter. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad you didn't develop that same trait. <laughs> awkward hug. Like, hug in my toes. Guess what he's doing from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I got a new game. Guess what everybody in the class is doing <laughs> like, from now on. Yeah. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> Find the lapel. <laughs> yeah. Everyone play Chad's new game, Find the Lapel on Morgan. No, let's not play that game. That'd be really awkward. Really it's, quick. it's either a game or a sexual assault. I'm not sure. Well, you could really just not pay attention and it could be whatever you want it to be. Then it's just the oopsies. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice right away either. <laughs> I'm so used to it. Now we have to tell the story. Nope, I'm not it. <laughs> I was told not to. <laughs> I well, I don't. I don't know. Will you get in trouble? I think he might. What? Do you, I don't know. How I don't. Th- so, come on. <laughs> so, so, so speaking. I don't of, know how lights work. I am one, but I don't understand yeah. them. <laughs> this is the weird construct. It depends for me. on the wife. Well, I think Ashley's. I don't know anything. Actually, actually, she seems very nice. Well, let's edit that out. We're not going to talk about that. I like going to Black Lion. Let's keep it that way. So when you were at Gracie University, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, such a, <laughs> yeah, I'm such a bad up. influence on everyone. <laughs> and, they're, and they're showing moves. Do they swing at you at all? So, oh, no, that would be if you went to the combative class. Yeah, that was the class okay. before ours. They just, fun. they just mention it to you, like, oh, by the way, don't pull Tele Eva if someone's punching you. Gotcha. And yeah. it not work out in your favor. Yeah, it's like, by the way, I can knock your teeth out. So. <laughs> yeah, just, you know what I want to see you do? Hmm. It's the um, the combat jiu-jitsu, like the EBI combat jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. That way you could, like, smack smack somebody. <laughs> as you're doing such <laughs> be so much just fun. Sh- you know how many people that piss me off? I would just smack the shit out of <laughs> It'd be of. great. Stop sitting yeah. on me! <laughs> <laughs> I get it, you're fat. Get off me! 
I mean, I mean, I would love to hit you. So if you want, <laughs> you just bitch slap me. <laughs> Smack. We haven't even started <laughs> yet. <laughs> so like, We're in the parking lot. <laughs> 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 be prepared at all times. <laughs> you, you let your guard always, down. <laughs> you must always be ready. Just compliments you because you hate it. It's like, you have nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> Smacks you. I'm confused. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, Combatives. Well, don't worry. Paul only punches Tai Chi push hands. Tai Chi push hands? That is legit. I don't care what you say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you may have heard of it. Is it the second name Tai Chi bitch hands? No. Very similar. No, I have not heard that. Oh. I, main, I maintain that if you know Tai Chi push hands, you are going to be excellent at jiu-jitsu. What is that? Is that where the ones where you don't touch anybody? <laughs> no. no. No touch knockouts? No. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's working. <laughs> Paul's never going to give it up. No, because it's awesome. It's I, not. I don't care what everybody says. Every, everybody. <laughs> everybody. I, think I am cool. Everybody's wrong except for me in this one case. Obviously. Right. I yeah. think Daily Croiler said something. Yeah, I think every day Croiler sends me like a video of like the no touch knockouts and he just labels it Tai Chi push ants. <laughs> <laughs> like, motherfucker. Like, like, oh, you were having a good day? Not anymore. <laughs> Everything's going sweet. I get this video. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> Broiler. He just wants to remind you how much better he is. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you thought you were good. You think this is awesome. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, you think you're funny, do you? Here's a video. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. That's how he encourages you. He breaks you down. <laughs> right. Exactly. He's got to rebuild you. So, so when did he start the rebuild yeah. process? Because he's kind of just a dick to us. <laughs> <laughs> he loves me because I'm a sweetheart. They what, what? <laughs> you're a what? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, a, I'm an angel <laughs> of death. Sorry, <laughs> I'm I'm kill it, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Well, that was weird. That was a Sorry. cough, right? Yeah, that's weird. My bad. I got spit everywhere. <laughs> it was a violent cough. <laughs> Can't stop it. <laughs> Oh, so Eric, you've been just yeah. sitting there all all lonely. I'm just enjoying, enjoying <laughs> listening to my dumbass talk. Oh, so what was it like to? Uh, I want your perspective on what it was okay. like watching watching Morgan compete. Oh God, because she's not going to like be like, oh, it's so great. But you can do that for her. The cool thing be is, quiet, like, Morgan. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can. Just, I'll just mute her. Yeah, right. It's cool. <laughs> what? Turn, 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 turn her mic off. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's all you hear in the background. <laughs> Cackle. So you can imagine like a lying a lion mauling a gazelle, oh, but God. the gazelle has no legs. <laughs> <laughs> So the gazelle started out legless, <laughs> and the lion just kind of walks right. up and eats it. Right. That's what <laughs> it was like. Much, that's what I'm envisioning. Oh, uh, <laughs> Morgan, I told you to be quiet. Right. No, <laughs> not your turn to talk. Oh, man. They were awesome. I think, okay. I was like, one, one of my favorite matches. I think it was your second one. Um, you took mount on somebody, and she's trying to get out. I already know she's not getting out. She, she, yeah, she, your she can't get out of it. Bastard. And Sucker. And her her coaches, the uh, the other girls' coaches, were saying, you know, get on your side, you know, shrimp out, do this, do that. And she looks at her coaches and goes, I can't do that. <laughs> yes. And we're like, and, and Mor- Morgan's like, you're not supposed to tell me what you can't do. So, <laughs> did, you, did you say that to her? I whispered, God. <laughs> I don't know if I consciously did it or not. But after, after your, but, um, so... I got to a good spot on the mat where I could record because you guys were moving to a spot where I, I didn't get a good angle on the video. And as I'm recording, she's trying to get up on her side and you keep laying her flat. She gets up on her side and she looks directly into the camera where I'm filming and just the sheer panic <laughs> on that person's <laughs> face. I looked at her and I said, I know. <laughs> so, I know. I've been there. We've all been there. It sucks. <laughs> I was like, it's awful. I know. <laughs> I think you ended up winning by a uh, straight arm bar, I think. Oh, like, yeah, the second, second one. was an arm bar. Yeah. yeah, it was a straight arm lock. From yeah. Mount. From Mount. I just learned that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that you showed the class? Like, I just learned this. I'm going to show you all, and I'm going to hit it in the Gracie Nationals tournament. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. what I thought. I'm like, I'm yeah. just going to do all this in sequence. Well, she, <laughs> she actually told her opponent, too. She's like, I'm going to arm bar you. <laughs> <laughs> I looked right at her. No. Oh. Right. You gave her your whole game plan. This is what I'm going to do, and I bet you can't stop it. <laughs> but halfway through, you're going to make it awkward and ask your coach what to do. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> you're you. The poor there. girl. <laughs> we, we, we have two more minutes left. You want to ask your coach what you should do from this position? <laughs> I love when they tell them what to do so loud because then I know what they're going to go for. Right. I've had competitions where their coach is so loud. They're like, all right, now take your arm and bring it across your body. Sweet. So I know not to let you bring yeah. your arm across <laughs> your body because <laughs> apparently you're going to yeah. do something with apparently, it. Apparently, that's not 
not good for me. Yeah, Sometimes I just want to be look at them and be like, and next? <laughs> what else do I need to be prepared for? I mean, there's coaching and then there's like a little, you know, you got to kind of let the girl do what she needs to do. She obviously knows she's in a bad position. <laughs> They're trying to scream it in pig lad. <laughs> Get a the arm bay. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, oh, my gosh. The girls were tough. I enjoyed it. They were fun. They, they were very good, though. So uh, tell me about that throw because that was, uh, that's the only thing I've seen so far. Oh, it was just the first time I've really done like a hip throw. I guess it's a standing hoiler throw for the most part. Uh, I've been trying to. I don't really know no gi takedowns very well, so I didn't know what I was doing. I was like arm, neck. Oh, I'm a try throw her. <laughs> it just kind of worked in my favor because she was kind of falling that direction. Mm-hmm. I was just excited because takedown, I've never done a takedown nogi, let alone a mm-hmm. hip throw. So it was yeah. like, <laughs> good to me. Ah. Let's, go to the, let's go to the deep water quickly. Was that the first uh, one or the second match? That was the first oh, girl. Gotcha. I I say, it looked like you knew what you were doing. I, I mean, had, she stepped, I, had I was no going to say, say, she stepped right into it and you got her down. Have you ever noticed if you watch my, uh, uh, what is it, my competitions when I start off, it looks like I'm doing the robot <laughs> every single time. I don't know why I do it, but I go like this, like I'm coming at them. <laughs> I don't know why. Sink, 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 sink. <laughs> I do all that, like stepping on them just to make them freak out for a second. It makes yeah. me smile. It's called a face. It makes me oh, smile. It was inside. so funny. Oh, her heart almost just dropped to the floor. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it was so funny. You faked out one of them. You did like a real good faint, and she just kind of goes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. She was hoping her soul would stay with her, but no. Yeah. No, it's mine. Why now. is it cold in here again? <laughs> it's above my mantle at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's really why I get to mount because I'm just sucking the soul down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that no, just no, put d- a really weird fiction in my head. Do you, do, you have, <laughs> do you have like a game plan going at each match, like what you want to try to do, or don't do you just die? Go <laughs> don't die. Just don't lose. I really, it's just to stay calm and breathe. I have no idea what I'm coming against. I don't know what the girl's capable of. I have no idea her aggressiveness. I don't know anything about her. My goal is just to stay relaxed, regardless what happens. Because if I'm panicked, I can't think. So half the time in my first competitions, that's all it was, was literally I would get into positions and just be like, I'm in a Kimura, even though I'm not in any position in Kimura. <laughs> that was all I would get stuck in my head because I'd panic. You're mm. mounted trying to get a Kimura. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get this shit. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> it's just really staying relaxed. And the best thing about the Gracie Nationals or Gracie Regionals in general is they have 10-minute matches with no points. And I love submission-only competitions because who gives a fuck if they get side control? Right. I yeah. just hate when I lose competitions to something so minute as they have a dynamic position for like three seconds. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I, for me, I want to win because I'm a savage and I want to rip someone's arm off of their body. Like, I want to win because I would have literally killed them if they didn't tap kind of thing. That's the mentality I like. The points game, a lot of girls, not all a lot of girls, because that's just making a too big of an assumption, but a lot of, some people just like to play for the points and that's just... That's not, not how your, I was raised. That's not your jam. Right. Well, Crowler uh, taught me to kill. That's I won all by I know. savagery. How well, did you win by savagery? <laughs> well, it wasn't an arbor. It was savagery. <laughs> that's how I fucking won. She uh, just dropped out. Well, there. <laughs> well, well, I have a question about that though, because are you more aggressive than a lot of your competitors? So far, yes. Yeah, I just when but the I videos I've seen, I've noticed. I think that's just the girls I go against because I compete once or twice, and March I'll be competing three times in one month. I mean. I just compete a lot, especially for my area. Unfortunately, where I'm at, there's just not a lot of girls that compete. Where in California, it's just a different. Yeah. I mean, there's like a gym every corner. Right. Stupid Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> where we have five, and I don't even, like, maybe three black belts in Grand Rapids, if that. Mm-hmm. So I it's know just a different perspective. Two. I think two or three. I, mean, I have no idea. Yeah, I think it's uh, Clinton, um, Dan. Are the I think two. the clubhouse guy has oh, a black yeah, he belt, brought one too. In. Yeah, yeah. So I don't three. know his name, though, yep. but. It's just a totally different reality. And I think even the girls at Gracie Nationals were kind of the same thing. They don't compete a lot. So it's just a different perspective. Eventually, when you compete so much, there's things that don't bother you anymore. I Now, in all honesty, if I get annihilated, yeah, it sucks. But I don't care as much as I used to. So it's okay. not... I don't have that mentality going in like, I have to win. No one will love me anymore. Because <laughs> really, <laughs> when you first start, that's what you think. That you're going to be a disgrace if you lose. It's a hard thing to get over because you're representing so much more than just yourself. Mm-hmm. 
but then you start realizing you know it's a small tournament <laughs> no one and, you know most people are just proud that you even have the courage to go hell out yeah there. hell yes mm-hmm. that's for sure isn't it funny how the fight game is like that though because if you lose like your pickup basketball game nobody gives a shit you know if you lose the championship <laughs> in football no. you're like yeah hey, well it happens but you lose a fight and you're just devastated i think it's because you're solo i mean you don't have a team to even remotely blame mm-hmm. on well, right. ricky didn't pass me the ball in that third <laughs> period you know <laughs> you're out there representing somebody that taught you things that they know so it's more pressure right. like i'm not <laughs> representing just me i'm representing right. Crowley. i'm representing chad i'm representing black lion so it makes we want to show the caliber in which the students we have there which we do have really tough students and that's the kind of pressure that eventually you kind of get over because you realize that just being there is enough it's not just about the winning i mean winning's great but it's not the main reason why i do it if that makes sense yeah yeah no, putting, yeah, putting sure. yourself out there is a huge deal because not many people do it well i have massive social anxiety like mm-hmm. so bad the reason i puke uh, that one time <laughs> is it's, i had the most people watching me i've ever had in a competition that terrified the shit out of me and that's why i got sick it's you just have to learn how to make all of it go away. Right. I mean, if mm-hmm. I could, I would literally do my tournaments in a room with like just a ref and nobody <laughs> else. I don't need the notoriety, though. I mean, it's nice. I really just want sponsors to pay for things. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, Tap Tape doesn't sponsor Blue Belt, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down to white. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you right now, he'll sponsor anything if it sponsors us, so you've got a good chance. You guys need to make me a patch. I can put on my gi. Oh, yeah, we should do that eventually. Ooh, For what? Cool. For her gi, a do patch. We, do we have Grab a, a thing? Uh, Are we a thing? I don't know. Let's make you a thing. thing. <laughs> I'm not a thing. Let's yeah. make ourselves a thing. Fuck yeah, yeah, we're all a thing together. <laughs> Let's be a thing. Yeah, we've been we've had a few requests for patches. Well, yeah. So, so if you ever lose a tournament, you can actually come back to like Troiler and Chad and say, uh, "I lost because you didn't teach me how to defend that armbar." <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Way to go, guys! Yeah, way to go. You made me yeah. lose. <laughs> way to not teach me enough. I didn't know the defense of that triangle, you asshole. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Please do that one time. <laughs> just one time. Just smack him upside the head. Just because just I wanted to see a look in the face, like. The fuck did she just say? <laughs> what? Did she just say she wants her wrist broken? I think that's what she said. I'm pretty sure that's what he would do. Why, why is it that's all Croiler hears? <laughs> yeah, I think breaks to... everyone's <laughs> wrist. I think the first thing I did when I rolled with him was grab his lapel and he instantly wrist slapped me. And I'm like, how did that even happen? Yeah, that was my first story with him too. Like yep. I grabbed his lapel yep. and I, in one second later I was <laughs> screaming. <laughs> like ah, ah, ah. I didn't have time to tap. I just screamed. He's used to that. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you just like, killed me. I know. Why would you do that? <laughs> I was being nice. Is usually what yeah. he says. And yeah. One time he think he wrist locked me with his neck. <laughs> like, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I just put my hand somewhere and then my arm hurt. <laughs> like, it's, how is this not even okay, <laughs> Tap? He's not even touching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, go, it goes. It goes to okay. Don't grab the lapel. To I can't grab anything. To, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm getting. I'm gonna get wrist locked. Don't be the same. I, I mean, right. he does have like 23 years of <laughs> jujitsu on it, so I'd hope he could just like beat the shit out of me all the time. Otherwise, I might want to find a new instructor. <laughs> I don't. I don't like to give myself a whole lot of credit, but I I do pride myself on losing well. But I couldn't even do yeah. that with him. <laughs> it's bullshit. God damn it. <laughs> This rounds are three seconds long. <laughs> like Can I just do, move without like, you hurting me? Like, how do I get tapped out ten, ten times in two minutes? How does is, how is that a thing? He was in a mood, okay. <laughs> yeah. I can I can give everyone a really quick hint on him. Don't have flexible wrist <laughs> because what he'll do. It's now his mission to show everyone else that he can still wrist lock you. Oh well, we need somebody with flexible wrist, Kip. <laughs> like, fuck! And he rolled me up, and I was like, "Yeah, I, you you felt me tap, right?" He said, "Yeah, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're done with next thing." Yeah, he, he, he was like, "I knew it hurt. I knew you were okay." <laughs> I'm like, 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 "Thanks, like, you'll buddy. Be, you'll be fine, cupcake." <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't tussle my hair. The, <laughs> like, the feeling will come back in a few days. Don't worry, no big deal. It hurt. You're and, a banker. You don't need fingers. <laughs> He's got to count. He's got to count. <laughs> That's uh, like yeah. calculators are for. Oh. Have you tried just cutting your hands off? 
I've, I've, I've actually of tried it. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thought of it. Oh. I was going to put rebar in it and just tape them, but I heard that actually doesn't work either. <laughs> did you so see that? <laughs> I did. I did because <laughs> I mentioned it, and then I got sent that meme. I'm like, fuck! I thought that was a good idea. I was going to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Say lovey. Got to do something against him. Hey, if I get my wrist locks as good as him, I'm golden. I don't think anyone. I think people underestimate the wrist locks because they are terrible. Hell yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Victor from his gym comes up and I rolled with him and he caught me in the wrist lock that that Curler taught us the seminar before. Mm-hmm. And he goes, you just learned this. <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I still didn't see it coming. Thank Victor. you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Victor, you prick. You 17 stripe brown belt. He's <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> He's so great, though. Yeah, he's he's fun. It was funny because I was telling I was telling on the podcast. I'm like, I rolled with him. I thought I I did pretty good. I felt pretty good about that roll. Then I watched him roll, Chad. And I went, Oh, he wasn't trying. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Anytime you feel positive after rolling with Victor, you're like, Oh, he was just being a good, nice yeah. guy. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> He would he would literally destroy me. <laughs> He's like a mini Croiler. <laughs> he is, dude. He's a beast. Alter ego, <laughs> big Croiler, little Croiler. <laughs> they both would destroy you the same. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, it sucks. Actually, I love it. It's super fun though. <laughs> so, so Eric, you said you had a chasing the belt story because we were talking about uh, chasing the belt is a big uh, faux pas in jujitsu, and you had a little story about that. So. Yeah, so I didn't to, want to forget about so it. So to completely switch gears and change the mood, um, <laughs> <laughs> taking a hard turn. Um, That's what Paul does. Yeah. <laughs> and next, <laughs> yeah, and let's so, talk about fruit. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. at least I didn't say segue for fuck's sake. Come right. On. So it, it, uh, the trip to LA kind of had a lot to do with this, and uh, I know when I see Morgan's post on our Black Line group saying that she needed someone to go to LA. I thought, I'm not doing anything, so might as well, you know, go with her. And, you know, it'll be a nice, fun trip. It came at a really good time because I I, I plateaued pretty hard. Like, I think even dipped down. Yeah, you point, did. To, I can vouch to, for to that. Point, <laughs> to point, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. That's terrible. I, 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 I wasn't, I'm I wasn't going to say anything, I but damn. I know. You brought it up, bro. I know. I'm not going to argue with that. But, um... You know, I think at one point in time, I got too caught up in wanting to get uh, to blue or even to like the fourth stripe right. with, uh, you know, with the white belt. And, uh, you know, when I wasn't getting there, I didn't feel like I was improving. And after the latest testing with, uh, you know, the, the four guys who tested back in December, I kind of seen that the level that they were, and I didn't feel like I was at that level. And I, didn't, I got to the point where I didn't feel like I could even get to that level. And I got, you know, depressed and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I stopped showing up. I stopped showing up because I would sit on the couch and think, Man, I, you know, why even go? You're not going to get any better. So we go out to L.A. and uh, it made me. And I'm not disparaging anybody at the schools we went to because everyone we everyone we met was incredibly nice, and they were just really good. We'll get to him. Yeah, 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 we'll get to him. And uh, I, I, so, I can almost feel the disparaging yeah, so, coming. Yeah. <laughs> so no, they were all wonderful people. And I don't want to talk shit. They're, they're, but. Great. <laughs> yeah. they're great, but it, you know, it, it made me realize how good the people at Black Lion are. Like, I mean, until I had to go out to these other schools in L.A., and I rolled with a few blue belts at some other schools, and one of them said something to me that, you know, it really meant a lot, and he, uh, in like a jackass, I forgot his name, yeah. <laughs> and, good, so, good job, bro. <laughs> and so he, uh, we got done rolling with him, and and I thought like I did pretty good. I was, you know, shoving off a lot of what he was doing. He did I didn't really feel threatened by a lot of what he had, what he was throwing at me. So he gets up, and he goes, did you forget your belt? I go, no, what do you mean? He goes, your belt is—is is that your belt? And he points at it. I said, yeah, it's mine. I was like, I didn't like just find this on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to just grab random <laughs> belts and put them on. Yeah, you got, they have them everywhere in the Gracie parking lot. So, <laughs> it's like a garden of them. <laughs> People just go like, fuck this. <laughs> just throw this on the ground. Excuse me, yeah. did you go outside so, and pick your own white belt? <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> so he looked at me. He's like, you're really good. I said, really? I was like, you're talking to me. And he goes, he goes, yeah, you're really good. He's like, you were doing this right, this right, this right. He's like, you were, do-. he's like, you were amazing. He goes, I think, you know, you're a little bit higher than what you are. I'm like, you know, I almost kissed the man. <laughs> so, so Almost? The, you mean you made out right. with him? It was intense. Right. Morgan. You <laughs> 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 it was a magical moment. Right. 
Sparks are flying. This magic moment. Just, let me tell you. <laughs> just tongue lunge at the man. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. we got kicked out. <laughs> right. And He's like, oh, I started. learned this that, from Morgan and Eddie Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why we can't go back. <laughs> so, You're not yeah. welcome. So, yeah, it, it, it was really good. And, uh, you know, we went to another gym in San Pedro, uh, which was a ton of fun. And, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. You went to another gym? Yeah. yeah. Damn, how many gyms you go to? Just, just two. two, yeah. I didn't hear about the St. Pedro one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Continue your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get yeah. to that one in a second. Paul feels left out. Right. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> what do you Need tell me? Talk. <laughs> right. So, you know, I think it was something that I needed in to stop focusing on, you know, what's next, the next stripe, the next belt color, whatever, and just try to focus on what I'm learning now. And one thing I did learn going out there is I need to drill a lot more because I know a lot of stuff, but it's not muscle memory. So I find uh, yep. myself sitting there thinking and thinking and thinking like on the outside looking in it doesn't look like i'm doing anything i'm just sitting there but in my mind i'm going through like 40 different moves like, oh i could do this, this, this. And nope, none, that's gone no nope, nope. okay. oh it. shit he moved yeah Motherfucker. yeah so you know i'm running through all these things and it's because none of it's muscle memory because i haven't drilled enough for it to right. be muscle memory so so it really did help uh to put things in perspective to go out there and and compete with some other people yeah, that's that's the cool thing about going and, and working with other people because when you work with the same group of people all the time and they're all progressing at uh, around the same rate, you're going, God, I'm just not getting any better. I'm not progressing. And that's just what it feels like. So you need either yeah. the new people coming in, which happens far and few between, or you need to go train with other people and go, oh, I actually can do this shit, which feels good. So, yeah, it's good that you did that. Yeah. I mean, I, I was hanging pretty well with their, you know, no and one strike blue belts and it was doing Fairly well, sweet. I thought so. Good for you, cupcake. Yeah, for you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> He's a big boy now. I know. <laughs> no, everyone was awesome. Everyone was really nice. Let's we talk. got lucky in that regard. Let's talk about our favorite person. Ever. <laughs> 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 he, he, we call him Jar of Sunshine because he was probably the nicest person I've ever met in my life. Total Californian yeah. boy. Oh, he was a wonderful human. That's being. what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> that was, I'm pretty sure he has the words "That's what's up" tattooed somewhere on his body. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, True story, was, bro. True story. Does, does he have an he actual was, name? Or his name is uh, Morgan Smith. He's ah, a Morgan brown Smith. belt at Grace University. He knows Curler through social media, and Curler hooked us up to get rides from a ride from him to the tournament, the day of the tournament at oh, the nice. Grace University. Yeah, so we, we met him at Grace University the night before, like just a split second, like, hey, we didn't even get to roll with him, and then he picks us up the next day. We weren't really knowing what to expect, mm-hmm. and he's like, he could start a service for just making you feel wonderful. He's just like the most pleasant person <laughs> you've ever come across. So he does the opposite yeah. of what we do, Kip. Like, <laughs> check. <laughs> it's just awesome. Sounds like, sounds like a douche. I mean. All right, so cool. <laughs> Man, he, rolling with him was fun, though. It's like, well, to, 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 put the set, to put the setting like of where we went, we went to San Pedro. <clears throat> and one of the things he tells us is, oh, this is gang territory, by the way. <laughs> you know? uh, and so he's like, oh, we're like like cartels. We're like, cool, oh, cool. cool. All right, we'll stay close to you. <laughs> you never <laughs> so, heard of him. And so... Uh, <laughs> What's that? I fit right in. So, <laughs> I'm from the Midwest. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. So we uh, we go into this building. It was an older looking building. With bars and all the doors and stuff. We go in there and it's like a... What was it like a physical th- therapy? Physical therapy, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like a physical therapy area. Then he takes us down to a like a dungeon basement, and that was the gym. This basement doesn't there. sound creepy at all. Bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 it was no, a no. nice little. It, it was a nice, nice it little It was place. home sweet home for me. Nice. It was, it was a lot like we're. A I'm dungeon? First, no, your, your home is <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chad's uh, first gym where it was when I was first with them was a lot like oh, it. Oh, it was where's just the, like, like division? Not the quite Mount sure <laughs> how you feel about this room kind of thing, but yeah. yet you feel awesome about it at the same time. That's, That's where the you... mount me thing happened. <laughs> mount me. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Uh. <laughs> Everybody there was so cool, though. Oh, my Lord. I mean, everybody there was amazing. <sighs> so it's the San Pedro Fight Club. They're, they're pretty it? pretty amazing. It's the Roburo. Is that how you say Hibero? it? Yeah. Hibero. I'm sorry. I'm, I butcher everything. I'm <laughs> no, sorry. Right. Every Brazilian out there, I'm a terrible American. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce anything. Oh, and everyone, she's coming to I your love country. all of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I actually want to pause on this. So you met Rose Gracie. Yes. yes. Is it pronounced Rose or Jose? Because I, think I thought it's they didn't. Ro- it's Rose. I think Rose. Everyone, everyone was R's. saying Rose. Okay, I didn't know. Everyone that said was a Rose. Thing. Did you just <laughs> ask if Curler's mom is named Jose? <laughs> mom, no, cousin, right? Cousin. Because oh, her name yeah. starts with an R. It starts with an R, dude. It's a legit question. <laughs> I know. Just ask if a woman was called 
Croiler. Croiler. Text me, bro. Is it pronounced Rose? Did you, did you change it to Rose? It's Rose. <laughs> I, I better be. She's like, all the Rose the whole fucking day. <laughs> maybe, maybe everybody just calls her Rose. I'm just an asshole going, hey, hey Rose. It's like, yeah. and your brother Rixon and Renner. <laughs> hey, like, when, I first, when I first started, that's exactly what I said. You know, Rixon Gracie. Who? Rixon, goddammit. Yeah. Yeah, Royce, he won UFC yeah. one, two, four. Hey, that was me. That was me yeah. and this white pal walking around like I knew what the fuck I was talking about. Was, I didn't. I knew nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't wait to meet someone named Rose and go, is it Rose or, or Jose. is it Jose? Or are you Brazilian? <laughs> <laughs> is your name pronounced Rose or are you Brazilian? So what I know you're hell? really... I want to meet yeah. his cousin now. <laughs> just going to be like, what's She's up, Jose? Awesome. <laughs> you're probably going to meet some guy now. He's like, yeah, my name's Jose and he's going to write Rose down. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Oh, flip pole no. Actually, it'd, be, it'd be hose. It would actually say hose, hose wouldn't it? Yeah. I guess it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I paused on that. That makes me feel good about myself as a person. You should have. <laughs> I just can't believe this whole conversation. Mo- mo- moving on. Moving on. How is, uh, how is the training in the, uh, oh, it was the awesome. fight club gym? Intense. It was called the fight club. That was, they yeah. do it. Oh, well, the, Morgan kind of it was weird because I kept having to say my own name. That's why I called him Jarv Sunshine because I got tired of being like, Morgan, no, I'm third person. I mean me. I don't know. <laughs> it's Mr. Smith. <laughs> but uh, he kind of explained it perfectly. Like Grace University is more combative, a little less competition where the gym he took us to was this much more spiritual for them. They take it a little, I don't even know, like next level. They have all these breathing techniques that they would do and they take it. Uh, at a deeper meaning, I guess you could say. Kind of like a philosophy of martial arts too. Yeah, it's more. It's okay, a yeah. life for them. It's not that is just not my shit. <laughs> you do it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's that takes I don't discipline. Know, it was just really profound, kind of the way how unified they were, and just I don't know the whole vibe they got there. I mean, everyone was so welcoming, but they mm. were tough guys, and mm-hmm. I liked it because not one of them took it easy on me. Because normally. A female coming in, they always are like, mm, put on the gloves, they're gentle, but <laughs> Jar of Sunshine, Morgan, goes, <laughs> points right at me, he goes, that's Croiler's student, don't be nice to her. <laughs> You're like, motherfucker. But no, I was, no. I was happy because none of them did. None of them were like, treated me like I'm some delicate flower or that I could be broken. They rolled with me just as aggressively as they would roll with someone at my caliber and in my weight, and I respect mm-hmm. that big time. So how'd you do? Yeah. Decent. I mean, Morgan is a smasher from Hell. He reminds me of like a mini Croiler. He's just like, <laughs> I can't breathe. He he did a wrist lock on me. And he goes, said, tell Croiler I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> you little shit. That seems rude and awesome. <laughs> he, he was a really good guy, and it was he invited us to that open mat, so we weren't. We wouldn't even have known about it if it wasn't for him. And oh, very cool. He said uh, he had a feeling after seeing some of my matches of me um, <laughs> smashing these girls from Mount that I would get along with the group of guys there because they're <laughs> nice. really, they're smashers too. So, I mean, they had a green belt there. God, I can't remember his name. because I'm all, Oh, Corey. Okay. I'm, he's less of an asshole than I am. Uh, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> he's just quieter about it. That's all it it's is. more self-kept. He was a lot of fun. He was really good for a green belt, that's for sure. He was so How cool. old was he? 14, 15? Probably 10. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't Ten, matter. I don't know. He kicks my ass. Three, three months. Yeah, better than, <laughs> better than I'll ever know, hope to be in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. It was just a really good group of guys, and it was a lot of fun. I was uh, glad we got invited to come along. And then mm-hmm. he took us along the San Pedro uh, coast, coastline. Coast. And that's where the picture I posted on Instagram of me and Eric standing on the coast, and then a bird flew by seconds shit later and shit right in my head. <laughs> I, know, I'm, I was gonna say like the sh- the shutter probably wasn't done clicking for a bird shit on us. That is, I awesome. mean, it was instantly after that. picture. So you should have took a awesome. picture with the shit on your face and then posted <laughs> that instead. It was, like, on my, it was in my hair. <laughs> I kept going, Eric, tell me that was water. Eric, that, tell me that was water. And he goes, Morgan, there's the cliffs. It's like 200 feet down to the water. I'm like, motherfucker, that was a bird. Well, like, <laughs> bird shit on me. And Morgan, jar of sunshine, was trying to convince me it was good luck. And I like just ran after him trying to wipe it out. I'm like, here's your good luck, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> You know, it's funny. My brother went, I forget what country he was in, but he got shit on and everybody around him started to clap and cheer because it was good luck. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what the hell is wrong with those people? But apparently that's a thing. Kind of I like poop else. on my face. It's a great thing. <laughs> right? Hey, everybody's got their shit. <laughs> I, no, non-judgment. 
<laughs> but he was uh, awesome. He took us all around Sweet. and dropped us off. And glad I got to meet him. He's got a fight coming up uh, February. No, some fight to win pro series on oh, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. He's doing that uh, coming up soon. Would be pretty awesome to see him compete because yeah, he's good. Oh my he's lord, real good. He's I mean, like he's a half. He's a little bit taller than me. Pretty. I think he's shorter than me. I think he's a little bit shorter than yeah. I am. But he's about yeah. 170 or so. He just, he feels like a thousand yeah. pounds. The yeah. guy gives you no he's space m- and just smashes the shit out of he's you. He's one of those guys, he's muscle, and he, you know, he's got a lot of strength, but he's also all technique, <laughs> too. So, I mean. Nice. That sucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was fun, though. I it was, what, started standing with him, and I'm just like, I'm just waiting for you I to, know. like, throw me to the <laughs> ground, bro. I don't even know what to do. I started standing, and he goes, all right, house rules, get up. I'm like, all right, so I stood up, and then he instantly like Americanaed me, <laughs> Americana me standing. <laughs> how you want to say it? Americana. Uh, uh, I, I, did, did, did. <laughs> I touched him, and then he almost like broke my shoulder. So, <laughs> so it is. And then I was like, okay, well, let's try to reengage. And I put, kind of put my arm in that same area. He goes, are you really going to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> what else did he say to you Jesus. when you were rolling? <laughs> okay, he said the best thing you can say to someone when you're rolling. So he was in my guard. And, of course, he's based like a rock. I can't move him. And I'm trying to go for a scissor sweep. Just trying to do something that will feel good. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually doing something. And so he's sitting there. And I got his, I got his uh, sleeve. I got his uh, lapel. And I'm trying to get him off his base. And he just looks up at me, smiles, and he whispers, make the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best thing ever. And then I froze. And I go, oh, w- wait, hold on. <laughs> I thought I thought this was the right decision, and then he um, he went for like the, the the pressure pass. He put my um, uh, it was my right leg up on his right shoulder. Yeah. So he was doing that pressure pass. He had my right knee touching my left shoulder, and my right leg was straight the whole time. So my leg never bent. Uh. So he completely folded me in half. So I reach up and I grab my right ankle, and I'm trying to get it around his head just to kind of relieve the pressure. And he goes, "No, uh, uh." I'll decide when to pass. <laughs> and he just held me there. He held me there just destroying my spine. <laughs> so then he passes and he goes to knee on belly and he goes, tell Croiler, Croiler I said hi. And he just <laughs> he puts his knee through my soul. At that point. Oh. He managed to do a knee bar on me as he gave me a titty twister at the same time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a pretty magical moment. That's impressive. <laughs> can you, can I was you like, that's that? my boob, that's my boob. He's like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> clearly you don't. And that's Anybody, son of a bitch. <laughs> Distraction, hundred <laughs> percent. Was it was it uh, was it one hundred percent just live rolling, or did he show you anything cool? Oh, uh, he would he would critique a little bit, nice. like yeah. to help me out, like certain things. Was, like you're like, fucking this up, don't do it again. He goes, yeah. don't start like that. That's that's not a good way to start. <laughs> Damn it! Damn, that is not good. There goes half my game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I supposed to do then? Yeah, he's he, little, it was really awesome for never meeting Corelli. He treated us with. A lot of respect, and he was super humble, and it was nice. really awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, how did he uh, get to know Croiler online? Uh, he knows a couple students that used to train with Croiler pretty well, and okay. then he just mm. became friends with gotcha. Croiler on social media. Croiler reached out to him to help us out, and he was, like I said, one of the nicest people. I'll like pay him to call me in the morning and be like, "You're a wonderful <laughs> person. You know what? I am. Thank you." <laughs> He's just, Off to work I go. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it just made you feel like great about life. Like you yeah. are awesome. Like I know. Thank you. <laughs> he was awesome. just wonderful. Oh, sorry, I'm touching. What do you do? What are you doing? Uh, do, do, do. She, she oh, broke it. Hold on. Wait, wait. Okay, hold wait, on. Wait, wait. It went away again. No, it's still there. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Thank yeah. you, Polly. Yeah. I like to touch things. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Practicing my grip I will <laughs> Stop beating the shit out of her mic. <laughs> okay. You I have will, one job. I, I will probably edit that out. <laughs> I like so. practicing my grip strength. Nice. Right. Please don't do it on a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Just gripping They are not all cheap. The <laughs> <laughs> These are my expensive toys, Morgan. Jesus, you're bad. <laughs> These are adult toys, Morgan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now she went to clap and was worried she was going to hit it. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, it don't want to touch the clap. <laughs> uh, now, what else did I have? Uh, oh, yeah. How did you ruin somebody's video, Eric? Okay, so this kind of links in with the Eddie Bravo story. Ooh, I don't, I yeah, we haven't I, even got to the Eddie yeah. Bravo story. Right, we let's, let's, let's go over that. Yeah. yeah, since I know that uh, there's there's some people that, that <laughs> were probably waiting for this story. You know, they're waiting an hour in. They're 
pissed the whole time. So <laughs> well, we got to it. So after Morgan was done competing, we're sitting on the side just watching some of the matches and hanging out in case uh, Rose needed any help. It's host. Eh? Jose. Host, host, right. <laughs> I mean, Jose. <laughs> no, help. don't even give Get me some right, help. Eric. Jose. So, Get it right. <laughs> right. So, uh, so we're hanging out there, and Morgan looks over to the, like, to the right of where we were sitting, and she goes, I think that's Eddie Bravo. And I go, what, really? And I look, I was like, oh, sure enough, there he is. And so we awkwardly stare at him for a long <laughs> period of time. Well, what else which are you supposed he's to do? He's so which, pretty. I mean, he has like no wrinkles on his face. It's which, amazing. He's aging very well, isn't I he? I know, which, son of a bitch. <laughs> which I think he knew after a while because I could think as I'm glance over at us and we look away real quick. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we were, we were like, like little kids. And so the ruining video part comes with um, talking about how pretty he was. And it, <laughs> oh, and it, God. And it, it reminded me I of... all about this. It, re- it reminded me of a skit from a comedian that i don't remember the comedian's name but it reminded me of a skit he called it was called 28 days straight and he's like you know i don't really believe in being straight or gay or whatever and he's like i'm what you call 28 days straight and what that means is that if you put me and ryan gosling on a desert he goes i'm he goes, i'm straight for about 28 days then we're going in the grass hut <laughs> so, and so i was making that joke but applying it to eddie bravo Constantly, <laughs> so you know, you know, you know, doing like a north south and whatnot. <laughs> oh, so, of course, we got to bring it back. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, there right. you go. Loop back in, and so the whole time we're having this uh, ridiculous <laughs> conversation. I, mean, it, I don't even remember all of it. it was well, hold on, hold on. Were you on top of north south or on bottom? Just for oh. clarification, <laughs> asking for a friend. It was <laughs> beyond <laughs> just that. It was all kinds of fucked up <laughs> shit. It's just really random. Like we shouldn't say this out loud, but we're doing it. <laughs> so. As we're having all these Eddie Bravo fantasies, <laughs> we look, so Morgan, Morgan's sitting to my left, and uh, she, I see her glance over at something kind of by her knee because we were sitting like cross-legged on the mat. I see her look over by her knee, and she goes, "Has that always been there?" And I said, <laughs> "I said what?" And I look over, and there's a camera not even two feet away from us that's recording matches oh. <laughs> with our commentary with our commentary so so here's this little camera that's recording like I think the purple belt division all these matches <laughs> and you hear us talking about how we'd be gay for Eddie Brown <laughs> <laughs> He's so pretty. He is. Please. I saw the picture. <laughs> and talked about how we want to go talk to him for like three hours. Like we should go up there. No, let's just stay here and stare at him for a little bit longer. It's totally normal. Yeah. We um. See, then we decided, okay, let's get away from this camera. So we uh, we get up and move uh, kind of toward where Eddie's sitting. <laughs> right <laughs> next to him. Yeah, right Better next stalking. No, anything down his neck. No, we now were. We can listen to him. We were standing right next to him. <laughs> so, so we're sitting there. And we're like, do we get a picture? Because he's clearly watching a match. And we're like, do we get a picture? It's like, no, no, no. Let's be respectful. Let's just sit here and watch him creepily. <laughs> so <laughs> much better. <laughs> we right. wanted to wait for the match to be done. Right, but unfortunately, they were really good, and the match went on forever. So boo. I know. So we're like, well, let's just wait. In that time, we were waiting like. Five people just walk up to him. Hey, can we get a picture? And one you're of the, being generous. It's like twenty <laughs> people. <walked up. laughs> and one of them even asked me to take the picture. <laughs> so, and still, nice. not the right time. <laughs> I know. And so, oh, the right timing was perfect. It was oh, way oh, better. Oh, the timing was perfect. And so, so he gets up and leaves, and we're like, well, shit. There goes our uh, once lifetime opportunity. You know, at least we can say we met him and creepily stalked him, and then commentated over him over someone's video. <laughs> and well so, done, sir. Well done. So he gets out. And he walks down toward a big hallway, and I look above the hallway, and it has the big exit sign. Like, oh. well, I was like, ah, well, crap. Well, there it goes. And so Morgan and I are trailing a good 200 feet behind him. Oh, my <laughs> God. You <laughs> followed him. <laughs> so, Please, not that you're screaming. closely. Eddie! Oh Eddie, stop! I want a picture! So, no. Oh, my God. So <laughs> that we're kind of so creepy. <laughs> and so we're, it's we're normal. Trying, yeah. It's normal. <laughs> so, yeah, we were tiptoeing and everything. <laughs> so It we, gets worse. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, right. oh good so we're like oh well there he goes he's gone he stops he's talking to a group of guys and uh and we're like oh you know maybe he's just stopping before he leaves so should we run up there and go catch him it's like i don't know 100 yards that's quite a distance to c- cover before he might just run off again but then the silver lining he turns around and he starts walking back toward us and we're like we gotta get a picture of him now because we don't know where he's gonna leave and so I'm like, got it. Got a man up. Got to go get a picture of him. So we go get a picture. Man up. Uh, Morgan, go ask him for a <laughs> right, picture. Right, exactly. no, I, was, I was cowering right. behind him. <laughs> so, I was like the one up popping up out of the shoulder like, hey. So, so he gets he gets like 
four or five feet away from us, but he's talking to someone at a booth that was next to the, the, the mat area. He's talking to them, and one by one, all these people start slowly surrounding him. And these people are probably eight, nine feet tall. These are just giants of men that are just surrounding him. All his 10th planet guys, like his number one, like boogeyman, oh. like some other oh, people wow. that I admire, and yeah. they're all just surrounding him. Yeah. And me and Eric are just standing in the middle of all these people. <laughs> yeah. say, yeah. You gotta understand, this, that circle slowly started encompassing us. So we're in the middle of all these guys. <laughs> nice. And we're like, you know, who photoshopped us in this picture, basically? <laughs> Nobody so. knows who we are at all. <laughs> Nobody. But they will part of the crew. Awkward <laughs> people standing in the middle of all these friends. Right. They're talking and having a great time, taking photos, laughing, talking about what to do afterwards. And me and Eric are just like, I just want hey. a picture. Of you. I was just saying, yeah, keep in mind, we're not talking and we have not broken eye contact with him. <laughs> That's awesome. This whole time, we're just watching him. And I was like, okay, I got to just, because I'm waiting to see when his conversation with the other lady is done. And the second I hear him uh, get down the conversation, he's like, he goes, all right, I'll talk to you later. And he turns around. I go, Eddie, can I get a picture with you? <laughs> Just real quick. I was like, can I get a picture with you? Oh, and her too. <laughs> oh, and, her. <laughs> and so uh, we had our cameras pulled up and ready just and got the pictures. I think when Morgan was trying to take one of me and him, he wouldn't look at the camera. <laughs> he was looking everywhere. And then finally at the last second, right when I clicked, he looked right at the camera. Perfect timing to look fabulous. <laughs> nice. He's so used to <laughs> it. That's what he does. He's like, oh, you don't have to worry. I'll get the I shot. Got this. <laughs> this is what Isn't I do. Perfect. <laughs> oh, look, I'm sneezing. Still perfect. <laughs> he did that look from like Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he blue steeled it. Yeah, you like blue it. Ste- yeah. Blue steeled it. He out blue steeled it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, our big story was stalking Eddie Bravo because we're weirdos. I even got a picture of him from far away. Oh, my God. He was next to Buggy Man. They wouldn't both look up at the same time. It was just, I don't know, because uh, uh, Morgan, the guy that we met out there, he knows Eddie, and he's like, oh, he's such a nice guy. Why do you guys make a big deal? I'm like, make a big, big deal. deal? What the, like, who the hell are you? I, I know you hang around all stars all day fucking <laughs> long, but these are people I like. It just would kill to meet, and yeah. there they are just sitting yeah. there casually, like yep. Henry Gracie, turning around and being like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not awkward and creepy, I swear. Just like, be my friend. Oh, my God, you're <laughs> a real person. And then to get invited by him, that was... I think he was level. inviting us because we were with Coiler's mom, but I'll say that he was invited us. Say, I, I don't know. It was your skill level. I was going to say, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. He's like, oh, you guys, I've heard about you too. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what, you guys are from Black Lion? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was watching your matches. You did great. Uh, you guys are like, located like, here on the pole, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Watch that, watch that turn out to be his video that we ruined. <laughs> Please, for the love of oh my holy, God. let that let that go on YouTube with the commentary no, over it. Oh my lord, it would be so famous. embarrassing. I never show my feet again. <laughs> Fred Morgan go a hole. She went and buried herself in a hole. <laughs> God, mortifying. Nice, trash nice. that person's video. I think that's the best I've ever heard. Oh man, I don't even want to know what's on that video. I hope to God. Oh, I want to know. I, I want to know. I hope to for God there's sure. greatness on we it. We talked for like an is. hour. Uh, it was it was long. It was a very long conversation. <laughs> A very long and very interesting conversation. <laughs> I, I, just the stalking level is quite impressive. It's yeah. really great. I don't think he noticed us at all. Like I said, I made eye contact like I said the yeah. stalking like, level is like, quite high. I just <laughs> look like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> a wide eye staring at him. <laughs> I think that means he did a good job. A like little, little bit of drool comes <laughs> off. He's That's time, I'm not he's, stalking. Are, are they still staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get away from them. They're looking at like, yeah, dude, he's like, they're still staring. Maybe if I walked the fuck away, these <laughs> yeah. people He had his posse surround us on purpose, but he had to do it deter us. <laughs> <laughs> you won't break us. I'm pretty sure I saw a ginger in my bushes tonight, <laughs> so I think they're here. Hey. <laughs> Every picture you have of Eddie is from a bush. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal, right? That's yeah. where everyone takes their photos. Legit, perfectly. <laughs> Outside windows and stuff. It's normal. <laughs> it's artistic. Like, Eddie, I just won gold. You you owe me a picture. That's you how this works. I beat some of you. Oh, people. that would have been the greatest if you walked no. up with your plaque and, oh, like, and then asked him to no. hold it. Be like, will you hold no. my shit? <laughs> Take this picture. Hey, that Eddie, would, pleasure to meet you. I, I just beat two of your 10th planet chicks. <laughs> no. uh, can we get a picture together? <laughs> yeah, that'd win me some real friends right there. <laughs> Do, do some good for me. Is he important? <laughs> God. Oh, 
Whatever. I don't think he's very well known in the jiu jitsu <laughs> community. <laughs> was, it, was it? It was Eddie, right? Eddie? Yeah. It's Edge Bra. Edge Bra. <laughs> you guys are murdering my career right now. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know. My chances of competing are zero now. No, no, I'm just waiting for you to be the uh, combat jiu-jitsu champion because now you're yeah. definitely getting an invite because everybody wants to smack that ass. <laughs> 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 they just want to see if they can break my mouth. <laughs> well, you know, either way, you're in. <laughs> uh, and you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, seriously, how did it feel to win gold in the uh, in the tournament there? That's kind of cool. I got a little teary. I don't know why. I think it was just because all the hard work up to that point, and then when you finally get what you've been working so hard for, cause I, didn't, I I didn't think I was gonna get anything. I, well, honestly, those girls, I was terrified of them. It may not seem like it, but I mean, one girl, man, she just looked like she wanted to rip someone's face off. I was like, she's gonna eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Those are like my first like thoughts, she and then so I get nice. out on the mat, and it's just I don't know. It all goes away, I guess. Nice. And it was just. I don't know, validating to know my work I'm paying off to a certain extent. I still want to fight girls that want to rip my face off just as much as I want to rip their face off. <laughs> I'm still mutual. looking for my epic battle. I hope to, I'm sure I'll find it one day. And that's really what I want. I want to win where it's just a crazy battle. Like the Mackenzie Dern and Michelle Nicolini fight oh for gosh, Worlds. Yeah. It's just... It was just nuts. And you she want won. some Spartan shit, don't I you? Just, yeah. I don't know, that feeling of like a real fight, I guess. Nice. Like a battle. I, it's, to me, the harder that you work for it, the better it feels in the long run. I, don't nah, know. No, I agree with that. I know what you mean. I want, it. I want, what, I want what this shit meat out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a feels mess. Good. It's cool. <laughs> Is that normal? <laughs> Punch Africa. me. <laughs> it, it's normal for people like you <laughs> for, for a soulless ginger I don't, I don't, I don't Morgan has her own different level of you know In, normal yeah. <laughs> but he is talking about it's I'm intensity so if you will I don't, I don't have any of that <laughs> it comes out in you trust me when I first started I wasn't very aggressive and now it's just like my arm <laughs> my leg give it to me <laughs> I, I actually went the exact opposite. I started out aggressive as hell, trying to like can opener everybody just to pass the guard. And now I'm like, I just don't hurt my knees or my <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> just, I think this is a, like a man thing. Like girls are taught not to be aggressive. Guys are n- pretty naturally aggressive. So you are kind of meet in the middle, a little homeostasis going on <laughs> after a while. It took me a while to amp it up to really like want to go out and be a really aggressive somebody because I, mean, I don't hate these girls. They didn't do anything to me. But now it's like savage mode. And I'm like, I don't want to. I want to hurt you and then be your friend afterwards. <laughs> Facebook. Oh. <laughs> so, how did you like the armor? I'll send you a friend's request. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it ends up. Did you tag her in pictures of you beating her? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tagged with BFFs forever. <laughs> there you go. I would never do that. I feel bad Can enough posting videos. I try. I like to post them at the same time. I don't want to degrade anyone in the process so it's always right. like this weird balance well, that's, of like uh, I, see I don't see that as a problem because like you said just getting on the mat is a freaking victory because yeah. I'm never going to be there but <laughs> so. I've, I've been someone's picture where I'm the one getting annihilated in it and it's sometimes you're like well oh, that's not a good picture <laughs> of me it doesn't feel very good <laughs> I, I don't want to be in a highlight reel I don't want to be in the wrong end of a highlight reel <laughs> I didn't want to be in the triangle in that picture I want to be the one giving it it's not flattering at all it makes my cheeks look fat uh, it helps humble you and reminds you that you're not invincible Sometimes I wish I was. So I do, I do have a question. Actually, just a request for you. No. Um, no. Fuck you. You're doing it. Um, when we're rolling together. Hurt you more? Yes. Not possible. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts enough. Uh, if I ever get a sweep on you, because I got a sweep on you last time, and I was pretty proud of myself until you treated me like a freaking child that just found a lollipop. That's so good, Kip. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You did one thing right. What? So adorable. See, like, see, fuck. See what it was. It, was, she was, so hard. it was cute, though. She, she gave you the opening. She was like waiting for you to do it. And then you did it. She's like, oh, you saw it. That's adorable. Yay, <laughs> yay. You're a big boy. <laughs> Don't worry. It went when you legitimately sleep. No, oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, total bullshit. <laughs> Except it's not. 
I am not that good. Mm. I'm okay. No, you were awesome, yeah. but that one sweep was hilarious because you were like almost more excited I did something correctly than I was. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, so I mean, Chad speaks truth in a lot of that when he says that, that I can't get better unless you guys get better. Yep. Like, Sorry. My training. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked. My training partner Adam. I mean, he's he, awesome. He used to give me tons of space when we rolled, and I used to be move around him, do my thing, and now the fucker's gotten wise to my game, and he just smashes the shit out of me. <laughs> but now you I always act- have me. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> But it, it helps you realize that you got to develop your game more because until they get better, you can't get better. It's a constant dynamic. So really selfishly, I'm helping you because I want to get better because fuck you, can't buy this game. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Perfect finish to that <laughs> sentence, by the way. It's about you, Eric. You're going to compete soon or no? Yeah, I'm looking at the one in March. Nice. The one in March. So, yeah. it'll, it'll be my first tournament in six years. So nice. And then there's the Arnold Classic the Arnold. afterwards. Yeah. We can run to the job. <laughs> <laughs> we can see people lift heavy shit and put it back down. And scream. I, 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 one of those I, guys are going to find me and just... <laughs> just kill My you. protein for the day was a ginger. No, no. What you got to do is you just lay on the ground. They can't reach you. <laughs> they can't bend down that yeah, far. Just come fine. here. My T-Rex arms won't oh, reach you. terrible. They are going to hurt you. <laughs> for sure. The best thing is, is uh, this is probably hurting Jordy on the inside. <laughs> Jordy's like... Hey, Jordy? Uh, it's not me. You called him Jordy. Jordy, it's adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. He He's is. like a pox, pocket-sized fighter. And then, and then you have all <laughs> its family. It's like adorable little. I know <laughs> they are. Action. These little Everybody's kids run beautiful. up. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Just take How one. did you produce this? Like, what? <laughs> so did you draw these first? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> They're so cute. They're all happy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> happiness. What's that like? <laughs> Well, if you look like that, you'd be happy too. I mean, they're beautiful. He's just the whole walk around naked it's all the time. Huh? I don't like it. It's a, the, all of them are pretty. I know. I can't stand it. They're too cute. And then they're happy and smiley. And okay, so imagine feeling like that all the time. That's what LA was like. <laughs> Everybody's just beautiful. Well, let, let's be honest. I feel that way everywhere I go. Oh, all right, I'm well. wonderful. No, I look like shit. <laughs> and all my and I travel with four very beautiful girls. Yeah. It, You'd think that would make me look better. <laughs> it <No>. doesn't. <laughs> like, like oh, why are they with him? What the fuck? How did he produce that? <laughs> uh, they're probably not his. Uh, <laughs> have you heard ma- the mailman? Have I you heard know. of recessive genes? <laughs> <laughs> my my uh, mom was pretty. Kip is recessively beautiful. <laughs> recessive. <laughs> fuck yeah, I am. It's look at hidden me. inside. I'm deep, fucking glowing. Deep. That's where I'm at. <laughs> All right. I heard somebody has a presence. <laughs> Kip wants his presence. I want my present. Present. Give me my shit. So right. when we walked in the cra- uh, crazy... Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy university. This was, this was the first thing that we saw, and we instantly thought of you, Kip. Oh! <laughs> look at that. He, he got... Uh, <laughs> it's a Kip, It's a children's book, and it's uh, Kip's Magical Belt, Kip which is very belt. factual. <laughs> 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 it's basically a life story of Kip. <laughs> this is so <laughs> oh, but, uh, but but my my wife has a, a request that you leave it here so that she can read it to our kids, and then we'll, then we'll give it to you later. I have children too. You are aware, but it's, of that, it's right? currently at my his house. His first, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. You know, Evidently, my kids are unimportant. Yeah. No, they're so. important. It's just the books already here. <laughs> it's so inconvenient to bring it's anywhere like, out. No. I mean, it's not it portable at all. <laughs> it's really <laughs> heavy. Yeah, it, yeah, it made us made us nervous at one point because we in one of our pictures that uh, book is in the background and Kip your wife commented on it and she goes hey there's a book with Kip's name on it I go shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> well luckily yeah. I'm a moron didn't say shit <laughs> wait what did someone say my name <laughs> someone say your name I can't spell it well I'm glad she didn't tag you in the comments the worst right? part is it's you it's one P too it's straight up me oh yeah <laughs> and at the same time it's vocabulary you can understand <laughs> <laughs> I know it'll take you a while there's to get it there's well, mostly honest, pictures his kids yeah. are going to perfect. have to read it to him <laughs> Addie will be happy to read you it tonight before you fall asleep. Dude, my name's all over Isn't that this. hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> really, what are the fucking chances that they would name Kip the star of Kip, a book? I know. And his magical belt. His magical belt. <laughs> the stripes keep falling off just like yours. It's magic. <laughs> it's like he started two weeks ago every day. <laughs> 
Just a good reminder of where you're at. Yeah, the, the belt. But seriously, my name's on like every yeah. freaking page. Yeah. The belt keeps all the skill. Now, if it said Kipper Doodle, it would have been the end of the world. <laughs> Yo, dude, seriously, I'm on every page. <laughs> like it at all. You're basically famous. I'm basically yep. famous. And they sell at a Gracie University. <laughs> so go pick up your copy. I think I need some royalties for this shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Pretty sure they got it from Grappling Dads. They heard your name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Kip, that's, that's it. St- you want to know what? People would feel sorry for a kid named Kip. <laughs> right. Let's fucking use that name. <laughs> What's a loser name? <laughs> <laughs> First thing that came to my mind. Perfect. Who would get bullied the most? Kip. Kip would get bullied the most. Uh, now remember, next time you see uh, Henner, you gotta say. <laughs> yeah, guess we're like this. <laughs> no, no, next yeah. time you're gonna go out BFF. there. BFF. So. You, you gotta say you gotta drive to Michigan or fly, as the case maybe. He's been to Michigan. And you gotta come on the show though. <laughs> then, then, then he too could be world famous. Oh, look at right. you dreaming over there. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's adorable. Hey, 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 tens of people listen to this woman. <laughs> Do you have ten grand? Because I'm sure you would come. <laughs> yeah. Paul, not on me. Paul, Paul, <laughs> Paul. you got that second mortgage. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> then this podcast is important. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be real about it, this is next level. <laughs> this is. I could maybe get one of his students here. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Jar of sunshine. <laughs> Jar I'll even take a guy that kind of looks like him. I mean, it's good enough. Doesn't even do jujitsu. <laughs> no, I don't like... care. He's probably a taco vendor. I don't care. <laughs> so you look like a famous jujitsu guy. You know what that is? No. No. I like tacos though. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're on a show. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Jar of Sunshine here. The Jar of maybe. Sunshine sounds amazing. <laughs> We've been trying to convince him to come out. Hell now yeah. we asked him, like, he's, you have to meet Croyler. He's There's cracking. There's no though. choice around it. He's cracking. He's like, oh, maybe. Yeah, he's on the fence. I'm like, you have places to over. stay. Well, clearly, this show will do it for him. Right? <laughs> like, after he yeah. listens to every single episode <laughs> in a week, he's going to be like, you know what? I'm in. Right. right. This sounds like the best thing. He's I probably going to be creeped out. Like, why do these guys keep talking about me to get a life on that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I already forgot who the fuck you are. <laughs> the fuck, you know what the Wait. Midwest is like. like we latch on to anything. Eric and Moore. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I met him one time for a brief <laughs> moment. Like, everything here is frozen and dead. <laughs> he's just that way to everybody. Yeah. He hey, does, does everybody want to come to? Where everything's ice. Ooh. Oh, it's not the pretty ice though. Your balls the, will just get shucked inside yeah, of you. Yeah. Do you like your balls being located where they are? Too bad. They'll Come be, to Michigan. They'll be in your throat. <laughs> at, least, at least you won't sit on them. That's a good Yay, a silver a, lining. It's a bonus. A it's like having motto. a cup without wearing one. Right? <laughs> right. They're running away from the cold. It's Perfect. It's a good state motto. Kiss your balls goodbye. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It is oh, now. It is now. I just <laughs> changed it. No? it. What is Michigan's motto? Oof. Why um, the fuck do we live here? Don't, exactly. <laughs> don't get fat. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get diabetes. <laughs> so if you like diabetes. only living three months at a place, perfect. Because the other nine suck. <laughs> yeah, three months a year here is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I like fall and spring. You like picking up leaves, I, do I you? I like all the seasons, to like, be honest. She really? doesn't pick up leaves. Oh. Pick up leaves. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. I barely mow my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> she only does that because the city makes her. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, they give you fines. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> I just burn it twice a year. It's fine. Yeah, my neighbors would love that. <laughs> I, I just cannot get over this name. <laughs> Neither could we. It's on. The, it's everywhere. We about shat ourselves. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no. You're like, oh my god. I guess what we're buying. <laughs> we bought you a yep. gift before we bought anybody else anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Winner. Yep. <laughs> it's just because it said magical bell. <laughs> magical bell. It's it's pretty much defines your life. Yeah. <laughs> it's the magical belt that never gets stripes on it. We were kind of hoping. And once it does, it rejects them. <laughs> it <laughs> just that's a magical off. power right there. Magical you power. You go in backwards. Okay, so your skill level's about a two striper. <laughs> the belt knows we're you're just not going to stay there. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> ever and ever. We were kind of hoping to have a friend named Paul. But <laughs> <laughs> His but teddy bear, if it was named Paul, it'd be the world. Uh, it's Paul. It's uh, Portuguese for Paul. But the, big, but the big plot twist was he has no friends. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, so like it's a true life to life. Story. Yeah. True to life. <laughs> Basically, they watched you and then made the book. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a scrawny kid that talks too much and gets made fun of. And he's an adult trying to get his yellow belt. <laughs> 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 They seen your high school picture, Kip. 
So like, oh yeah, we're making a story about this dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, dude, I was a stud back then. Yeah, I look exactly the same, except I was fatter. <laughs> That's <laughs> the only difference. I think I could wear the same clothes from when I was in high school. Yeah, my wife is skinnier than when she graduated. She's like two pounds. Yeah, she's an ass. Her, her you can throw like a javelin though. That's cool. <laughs> Just throw her. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Except your bony little arms or something jabs into you and like <laughs> kills your insides. <laughs> I got the boniest elbows I've ever met in my life. Doing a guard pass. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Did you just stab me? Oh, it's your elbow. That's that's your weapon, not your weight. <laughs> my, my, my wife is a little fussy at her because when you broke my nose back the right direction, she was, ex- she was excited. And then Jen broke it back the other way again. So now it's crooked once again. I'll kick you in again. the face if you want. Could you do that for me, please? <laughs> It'd be like Chad and just accidentally punch yourself back. <laughs> that was hilarious. So our instru- How the hell did he do that? Our instructor Chad broke his nose, got kneed in the face really bad, and then he we promoted some people and Curler came down and we tossed people when they get promoted. If you're a higher rank than them, they all know this. You guys on the other end, my imaginary folks <laughs> <listening out. laughs> <laughs> Chad went to do a throw and he literally did a throw so hard that he punched his nose and punched it back straight again. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> it's hilarious. He's like, is it straight? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah bro. It actually looks pretty good. You look halfway yeah, he, not hideous. So. <laughs> yeah, he never got it straightened, did he? Uh, no, I think he had the surgery still, yeah. but I just think it was to make sure he could breathe. You yeah. know? Oh, yeah. Because it was all and blood. Little important breathing, you know. Like, yeah. It's so. overrated. Yeah. <laughs> I only do it sometimes <laughs> when <enough>. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm opposed to when she's dead, people. Which is yeah. most of the time. <laughs> well, I'm more of a mouth breather myself. You know, window with your mouth. <laughs> is that what that smell is? The Lord. <laughs> yes, yes. Do you just is. take one deep breath before you go to bed at night? You're <gasps> and you fall asleep. And how, I, <laughs> how I keep the souls in. They can't leave That's that right, way. <laughs> you got any other epic stories before you go? I want to be respectful of your time. Oh, uh, I think that's it. I don't respect yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It was an awesome here. trip with awesome people. Corey's yeah. family is amazing. Nice. Yes. His mom, his stepdad, his brother. His brother really loves birds. Oh, and Corey, <laughs> you need to whip his butt because he's getting lazy in jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. Shots fired. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was well more played. worried about his goods than he was about rolling. I know. He's like, these golden goods down here. I'm like, I'm going to smash your golden <laughs> goods. He's got to make another Gracie is what he kept telling me. Oh, my like, God. Like, year 15, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> oh, the sheriff's office waiting right outside. <laughs> New <laughs> training partner. No. Right. But seriously, cry your whoop his ass. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know it's bad when you make Morgan uncomfortable. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's really. I think bad. it just had to do with being fifteen and talking about his nutsack. I don't <laughs> yes. know. It's just yeah, maybe winner. maybe don't do that. When I could be his mother, it's just yeah. not quite the same. <laughs> like, oh my god, these jokes aren't not, funny. That's not funny anymore. <laughs> I need to go away from you. <laughs> I can't have this conversation. I feel like what's his face is gonna jump out at me at any moment with TV cameras. Oh, Chris, oh, Hans- Chris, Chris Hansen. Hansen. Chris Hansen. <laughs> so why are you here with a box of condoms? Uh, <laughs> Morgan, take a seat. <laughs> no. no, I no. just wanted to roll. I'm gonna run past the SWAT team on the way out. Thank you. <laughs> oh what? no, it. it was it just was... nice not to be freezing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fun trip. It was Sweet, a great trip. So, awesome. Yeah, if you ever you know some spare money laying around, just go to LA. Yeah, everybody's got all that. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. change. Just yeah. go. I mean, um, I was getting free soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious soup. It was good. It was four bean. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you, they gave you four beans. <laughs> it's usually it's usually sixteen bean, but <laughs> times a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> yes, you are. But we already inside that. and out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good person. None of us are. No. Well, all right. Well, Eric's close. Uh, yeah, no, he's like a he's like a what, sniper bad person. Like he just waits. <laughs> Yeah. There no, you go. No one knows how much of a Horrible comment. Really <laughs> He's oh, a you, closet asshole. <laughs> closet <laughs> asshole. If you guys could have heard the jokes before we started recording. <laughs> oh, God. oh, they're all recorded. We're oh. going to play, oh. play those two. Oh, all right. Well. <laughs> put that on your... Uh, on I your don't... Well, yeah, I was like, what were we talking about? Put, yeah. I was like, put that on remind me if I need to rip this computer <laughs> screen on it and away. <laughs> you can put that on your bonus episode. <laughs> right. With your montages. <laughs> yes. 
Do you guys do montages? <laughs> we're, we're going to. Oh, great. Yeah. Paul wait. wants me to, but he doesn't really contribute. No. <laughs> oh, do a montage. You're one of those partners. Got yes. it. <laughs> it's a very one-way street in this relationship. <laughs> he talks, and that's about all he does. I'm the star Typical of the show. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Typical man. Typical man. He's got diva stuff. Let me do your hair and makeup real quick before you Was go you? <laughs> it just makes him uglier. And it's <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't help. Funny, though. Nothing Not, will cover that face. No. <laughs> Not even a beard, unfortunately. I tried and tried. <laughs> the beard ran away. Yeah. I Fucking do. homeless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank our sponsors again. Uh, Tap Tape. Check it out on Amazon. What are you doing? <laughs> Tap Tape. <laughs> You. Tell everybody how much you love Tap Tape, Morgan. Say it. Go. I love Tap Tape. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, Eric, you too. Yeah, they helped uh, pull so the 747 down the runway. That, see? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Repeatedly, yeah. evidently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On our way out of LA, there was a guy, he had uh, Tap Tape wrapped around his fingers, and he pulled that 747. Down. Bam. See? We, we yeah. watched it happen. Such a trailer, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> we watched <laughs> right. it happen. Real life. <laughs> Real life. Right. But, uh, yeah, definitely check it out on Amazon. Check it out through our website. <clears throat> oh, they can talk about our other uh, sponsor. Oh, yeah. Since they go Who's there. our other sponsor, guys? Jesus. <laughs> they don't listen to the show. I, Does anyone listen to our show? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> There's that one beautiful man in Norway. Thank you yeah. for the email. Yeah. Good good we'll read that next yeah. time. Is yeah. he beautiful? <laughs> He's from Norway. Of course he is. <laughs> oh, I, oh, yeah. He has those jeans. Yeah. Norwegian. Yeah. He's a He's Viking. Like, He's like right. blonde and blue-eyed. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. <laughs> He's a Viking. That, that's He's just a Viking. We're visioning a Viking. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> He's like probably like three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a, a cape. mini Viking? I don't know why. He's just wearing a cape. <laughs> Love how you come on our show Only and just shit talk their listeners. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what? That's what we do. Right. <laughs> and the last one's gone. <laughs> and most <laughs> Now we're talking to ourselves. Right. And most of the emails start off with, hey, morons, <laughs> yes. hey, assholes. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> you suck buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> All true. Hey, Culture. we really enjoy the podcast, asshole. Oh, well, well, well fair enough. At least they're honest. That's true. They liked it until you talked. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the music was great, and then you started they talking. They were jamming out, yeah. and then you ruined like, it. This is a great song. This is, what the fuck is going on now? <laughs> I want more keyboard. <laughs> more cowbell. Some more cowbell. <laughs> so anyway, Black Line Jiu-Jitsu is our other sponsor. So you could train with Morgan and Eric if you don't want to like roll with us. Nobody does. But if you, want, if you want to feel better about yourself, roll with me. <laughs> you want to win? Roll with me. Want to get you want, your ass kicked? Roll with Morgan. Whatever. Have fun with that. I'm nice as long as you're nice. If you're not, then I'm not so nice. <laughs> That's bullshit. She's not nice, period. Oh, I'm nice to you. I'm not even remotely being mean. There are certain people that have felt my wrath. Little turds. I will not. I'm scared. I know who you're thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I buy you candy? Just be nice to me. I want to be your friend, Morgan. <laughs> Morgan, best friend. Here's your money for the week. <laughs> Just give her a Snickers bar What's every the day. Shit? <laughs> right. Here's a Snickers. Please don't hurt me. I moved down to Twix. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I buy my friends. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I mean, it works. I do pay to go to the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You pay, I pay to you to hang out with me at least a couple hours of the week. Right. You know, I have a choice. My only friends. Unless you want to lose some money, you got to be my friend. <laughs> All right, everyone. Anything? Eric, you got anything? I'm good. All well, right. way to help out. Morgan, <laughs> yes. you got anything? Meow. <laughs> Still better out. than Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you got anything? Tap tape. Buy some. Fuck yeah. If you bought it on Amazon, leave him a review. He's awesome. He, he needs did. reviews because yeah. his product's awesome. It really is. Wait, it's great stuff. What's his product like? <laughs> Jesus. Is it something special? <laughs> it is. It is. Keeps your toes from falling off. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> and uh, Morgan's not coming back on the show. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is my fault. <laughs> Tap Tate's just going to message us, and we're done. <laughs> right. I did like that girl. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> A great podcast until the end. Uh, luckily, I'm on uh, a good show called Grappling Central. <laughs> Looking out. Yeah, he did sponsor them, didn't yeah, he? Well, thanks, on thanks, up. thanks for abandoning us. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> 
A guy to the small town business getting the real stuff. Exactly. Yeah, that's all I asked him if he wouldn't forget the small Don't guys. Don't forget the small guys. <laughs> Remember where you came from. <laughs> we made you. Did, did we mention we have a guy from Norway listening to us? He might, he he might, might buy, buy some. <laughs> and then he yeah. has to pay international shipping. That's fucking good. <laughs> that's like 20 bucks right there, bro. <laughs> fucking money. That $13.99 yeah, yeah, yeah. for the tape, a 75 for shipping. Enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> that's some heavy ass shit. And it still won't get there for three. <laughs> Four months. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ever want to pull a 747, hey, we got your shit. Booyah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. Bye. See ya. Meow. See ya. Meow.